Yay! Welcome, guys! Hopefully everything looks good on this end. Welcome! I hope you guys are excited. I am... I'm probably need y'all's help a little bit with, like, the volume and stuff, too. I was doing a little bit of a, you know, troubleshooting right before I started, as I usually do. Hope you guys like my shirt, too. It's probably, like, one of those dumbest shirts I've ever bought. It's, like, Sora, and it's, like... <laughs> A dog that's supposed to be goofy. There's like a rat down here that's supposed to be Mickey Mouse. <laughs> like, it's just like a me making a heart shirt. <laughs> kind of like a convention like years ago. But anyways, are we ready to start this? I am so excited. I um, I feel like, yeah, this is like one of the really um, like kind of classic like uh, fan gans. And I feel like it might have been kind of like the one to really like popularize like the idea of like uh, Dog and Rapa fan games as well. So I'm really excited to try it. I don't really know anything about the first game either because I feel like for whatever reason, the second game was like the one that really blew up. But I believe both are fully translated. <laughs> so, uh, so, um, oh, thank you to whoever just subscribed. Thank you, Cat3U for subscribing. But, um... Yeah, there's like the sequel is like kind of the one that blew up. So there's a lot of people, I think, including like Blaze, played that first, and that was like the first one I heard about. I remember when I made like a fan game video. I think I only really talked about that one because this one was not really translated, like to my knowledge. But both are translated now. Um, I have like a playable version um, of them too, so that's pretty exciting as well. I'll go ahead and kind of start getting this like all ready. Yay! Goodbye, Kokichi. <laughs> You will be missed. Not really. <laughs> we all just want to play the fan game. <laughs> the fan game. But, um... Oh my god, it's so loud on my end. Let me know if it's too loud on y'all's end. <laughs> so, like, turned it down, and then I felt like it was too quiet. Oh my god, silence. Silence, Danganronpa music. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, it seems like... So I was able to get access to, like, a playable version, but I was only able to figure out how to get, like the first chapter and prologue playable for now. I need to figure out how to get um, two through six playable. But uh, once I figure that out, we will definitely play um, the rest of the game too. But um, I mean, I doubt we'll get past like the first chapter anyways, unless I just start like, I don't know, going crazy or something. <laughs> but um, let's see, is somebody spoiling the chat? Please let me know if you know spoilers for this game and you're willing to help me out because I do not want spoilers in the chat at all, and unfortunately none of my mods really know like the spoilers, so it's kind of like awkward. I see people complaining about it. Thankfully I haven't seen the spoilers yet. Ah! Let me go to my YouTube studio for a second. Sorry! Try to... Do, do, do. I think it's on like settings. Community. Yes, please, if you know, if you know spoilers and you're willing to help me, like, um... Crap. Uh... God dang it, people are spoiling. Uh, let me get my boyfriend here. <laughs> I told him I would get him as like a uh, uh, last minute thing. <sighs> Please help. I'm just like, I feel bad to, um, to not go spoiling. Um, okay. Wait, oh God, this is so confusing. You should get Blaze too. Yeah, I was like, I know Blaze mentioned maybe helping. Do you know any of the spoilers went? <laughs> I was like, if you know any of the spoilers, please let me know. I can't totally tell. I, I see his, like, are people actually uh, spoiling? <laughs> it's like, I think so. I see people talking about it. Okay, I'm gonna have my boyfriend um, coming <laughs> to help out. I just feel bad because I don't want to spoil it for him, you know, but uh, he's willing to help me out. But yeah, if there's people, especially people that like I recognize that um, like would love to help out, I would appreciate it. <laughs> and thank you for the donation. Uh, Dave Brewington, you look pretty today, not simping, hello. Oh, thank you. That's so sweet. <laughs> I appreciate it. It's the uh, Mimi Kingdom Hearts shirt. That's uh, the true, <laughs> the true reason I look nice. Oh, thank you, uh, Jeff. I'm familiar with the spoilers of this game. So if you need help, you could just let me know on Discord. Yes, please. Oh my God, that would be so helpful. I added you as a moderator, Jeff. Please help if you can. <laughs> and um, anybody else who wants to uh, help out, please let me know. Because I want to be able to read chat, you know? It's so sad to not be able to. And let me know too if you guys if the music's too loud because it's like super loud on my end but for whatever reason um 
And no, it's not on Steam. I had to, I got like um, a special kind of like link from like the translator. Um, I'm not totally sure how many people they want to give the link to or things like that. I need to ask if they want to, because I figured a lot of people would be um, willing or wanting to like download it and play it. But um, I will get back to you guys and see if um, we can kind of, uh, I can give you guys the link or not, or how that all works. I don't know, like the legality of this stuff or whatever. So um, anyways, can't hear the music. Let's see, it might be because I um, don't really mind the music. Okay, maybe it's too quiet. It's just so loud on my end. <laughs> no, it looks like it's too loud. Okay, wait, let me. Okay. Oh, thank you, Kurt. I'm so here for this. Oh, I appreciate it. <laughs> I appreciate it. Thanks for the uh, donation and thanks for coming by. Okay, so, um, yeah, just kind of let me know. I'm still trying to keep an eye out for spoiler stuff. Thank you, Spanish Fly. I will mod you too. <laughs> I appreciate all the help I can get. Uh, now it's too loud, or wait. Okay, I'm just gonna start it. Y'all just, I'll just keep an eye on the chat. Y'all can just let me know. Oh wait, oh, dang it. Now it's like too loud. Oh my God, now it's too loud. Okay, maybe, <laughs> I'm seeing so many mixed things. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is such a bad start to the stream. <laughs> Hopefully it gets better. <laughs> oh, we've already done a download on chapter two through four, SDR A2 completed. Oh, nice. Okay. <laughs> I keep seeing like, perfect, terrible, <laughs> amazing, no. <laughs> it's like I keep seeing a mixture of things. <laughs> but uh, we'll just go ahead and, um, we'll go ahead and start and we'll just, we'll just go from there. Okay, it's perfect now. Okay, cool. Thank you guys. <laughs> thanks for the help. And thanks for everybody who's helping out with modding and stuff too. I really appreciate it because I don't want to get spoiled. I try to avoid spoilers as much as possible and I don't want anybody else to get spoiled either because that just makes me feel bad. It's like you come to my stream to have fun and then you get spoiled, you know? It sucks. Okay, yay. Everybody thinks seems to think it's uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no problem, Spanish fly. <laughs> I appreciate you uh, being willing to help. Okay, I'm gonna mouse off the screen too. <laughs> Yay, emotional damage again. Woohoo! <laughs> so exciting. Oh, thank you, unknown user. Hi, Weeby. First time donating. Been watching you for a while. I would be willing to mod since I know the series. Oh, thank you. I think, uh, I feel like I might recognize you. I appreciate you uh, offering to help. Let me, um,. Let me add you as well. Thank you guys for all the help. Hi, Weeby, I'm so glad I have time again to watch. Oh, thank you, thanks for coming by. I appreciate uh, everybody who uh, stopped by and is excited about the series. I was really excited to see um, how um, like excited people were about this. And yeah, the font's good. I had to download like, a specific font to help out. Okay, Hope Speak Academy. <laughs> what could go wrong here? Nothing. A school with a long tradition of fostering talented ones from all fields of society. I was wondering too if this one was gonna connect to um, like the actual Don Rafa games. This government approved privileged school aims to gather and educate hundreds of world-class high school students. Graduating the school is even considered a guaranteed success for the rest of one's life. Knowing its perfect purpose of raising hope for the country's future, one might say it certainly deserves to be called the School of Hope. Oh, baby. <laughs> I just think of Kamido when I see the words hope. The school's colossal building lies in the heart of the city, towering over all who pass by. <laughs> Nothing bad can happen here, as if it is the very center of the world. Kind of seems like it's going to take place in Hope's Peak Academy like the first game. There are two requirements to enroll in the school. One must be currently enrolled in high school. One must excel at their field of expertise. There are no freshman recruits and only those who are scouted by the academy are allowed to enter. No freshman recruits. Interesting, you have to be already in high school. And the one standing in front of us, and the one standing in front of its honorable gate, Makoto. Oh wait, no, never mind. <laughs> Wrong game. <laughs> Is me. Let's see our protag. Ah, look at you, Ginger Makoto. <laughs> Pro 
first, what should I say to start this off? If I were to explain the person who is monologuing right now, my name is Yuki Maeda. Though I suppose there won't be many people wondering about it. Yuki Maeda. I'm trying to think. <laughs> Kameda. <laughs> That's like the first thing that comes to mind. <laughs> As you can see, I'm not handsome, tall, or have a strange aura surrounding myself. I'm not just one of the ordinary students that you can see in the streets. I'm just one of the ordinary students that you can see in the streets at any morning. My skills are average. My grades are actually pretty good, but on the national scale, also average. <laughs> I'm just a plain old usual dude. Nothing weird will ever happen to me. Oh, dude, he doesn't have an ahoge. <laughs> Fake pro tag. Oh my god, homie's about to die. About to pull a Fumi in my last video. Uh oh, I'm just gonna go into this dark alley. <laughs> oh, now the detective's the main character. I do have a great amount of curiosity that drives me to crave for knowledge, but it's nothing big. As an ordinary student up to middle school, I was very curious about Hope Speak Academy. Because of it, I knew a bit more about the school than others, I think. Okay, you're gonna give us the rundown on the characters? This is a lot like Danganronpa 1 so far. Hope Speak Academy has always had a special place in my mind. And I am standing in that exact place right before its gate. This is so crazy. Yuki Maeda. I've seen this gate several times on the media, but actually passing through it as a student makes me nervous. <laughs> you should be, buddy. Can someone like me really go here? I can understand why people say being curious about something and experiencing it yourself are different. Before even entering, I was overwhelmed by the immense presence of this school. You might be wondering why I'm so tense right now. Because I'm about to begin a new because I'm about to begin a new school life? It's true. But before going into the real cause, I should start with what happened last night. Okay, what happened last night, bro? Oh, <laughs> I was researching. And I saw the ultimate baseball player, the ultimate gambler, ultimate detective. I wanted to know so much about this year's ultimate students, so I went through relevant internet threads to look up some information. Only students on the top of their respective fields are selected by the academy, and they get so popular on the internet to the point that an exclusive thread is created just for discussions by stalkers. <laughs> That's cool. Anonymous, who else? Ultimate professor working in H University, oh, Hope University. They're cutting edge facilities. Oh, thank you, I'm too crispy. I donated $5 through Super Chat. <laughs> Damn, Noah Hoge, I don't know about this one. <laughs> I don't know about this one, Chief. I know, right? A little, little sus. <laughs> Kinda makes me wonder, are you really the, uh, really the protagonist? We'll see, we'll, we'll see. Ultimate professor working at H, they're cutting edge. Dave, cutting edge facilities, I'm so jealous. I heard blah, 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 blah. Heated conversations were already going on about this year's new students. Some of them were ones I have seen on newspapers and TVs. Ah, the ultimate policeman. Yeah, for example, the ultimate police officer who fights against crime on the front lines with his commendable intellect and exceptional physical ability. I don't know why, he kind of gives me like Tagami vibes, like rival character vibes. Who's this girl? The ultimate professor, renowned for working in the world's most prestigious university to mentor actual college students. Oh my god. <laughs> Be kind of weird teaching her. She's like, shut up, teacher. I'm the professor here. Get wrecked. Oh, is Blaze here? I was like, I saw somebody mention Blaze. I was like, it's awesome if Blaze is here. Welcome. Oh yeah, Blaze, you are here. So happy you're playing this, Weeby. Oh, thank you for stopping by and thanks for helping me uh, find the download so I can actually uh, play this. I'm super duper excited to uh, to get all into this. Oh, hey, soccer player. <laughs> hey, it's kind of like uh, Leon. <laughs> kind of like Leon, but just soccer. I wonder, I wonder like, I don't know. I wonder how this is going, if it's gonna like um, really parallel like Danganronpa 1 and Danganronpa 2 because I know the second one takes place on an island like Danganronpa 2 so I'm kind of curious to see how they like I don't know if they like set this guy up to look like seem like he's gonna be exactly like Leon you know but then it ends up being somebody else like last minute I feel like that could happen we'll see and the ultimate soccer player the current ace of the national youth athletes team who is confirmed to advance the premier league big club I don't trust you bro <laughs> Others mentioned included the ultimate pilot, ultimate surgeon, ultimate sprinter, ultimate sniper, Jesus, ultimate cheerleader, ultimate lawyer. The sniper has got a, uh, it's got an advantage in this game. All those who shine so brightly compared to me. There also seemed to be a strange person called the ultimate exorcist, but that person must have been scouted because of their remarkable talent as well. 
Exorcist. Oh my god. And have like a uh, Karekio chapter. <laughs> it was like that book they had, like the Raise the Dead book. As I simultaneously grew excited and anxious, my curiosity about the Ultimates continued to pile up. Now, why am I so worried about this? After all, I'm an ordinary person with nothing more than a thirst for knowledge, so why all the fuss? Find it out in my letter of admission. Oh. <laughs> you are the most average person ever. Okay, lucky student. <laughs> I thought I was like, ultimate average Joe. This year, Hope Speak Academy held a lottery to select one ordinary student to attend our school. You've been selected, and we invite you to join as the ultimate lucky student. That's right, ultimate luck, chance, fluke, good fortune. You suck. <laughs> you don't really deserve to get admitted here, but whatever, you're here now. That was all. I was the one who was picked among millions of high school students across the country. Frankly, I kind of regret accepting the admission a bit, but considering that entering the academy is the fantasy of high school students nationwide and a ticket to success, it was not hard to. There was only about a dozen ultimate students in the whole country. Being able to be their classmate was enough to get me excited. Do, 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 do. But now that I'm facing this massive building right in front of me, can you see why I felt a little intimidated? Yuki Maida. It's 7.50 right now. All freshmen are supposed to go to the entrance hall before 8, so I guess I'm on time. Just averagely on time, like the average dude I am. Since it's too late to go back, let's be positive. I should start with going in the building. I can't stand here forever. Do, do, do. Yeah, right. Let's do this! <laughs> comes the sketchiness. <laughs> you thought! Oh. <laughs> or maybe not. Maybe we'll, uh, we'll, we'll knock you out later. <laughs> Thank you, Lifey. No, okay, not my protagonist. <laughs> P.S. If you do need help avoiding spoilers, I'm free to help as well. Thank you, Lifey. I will mod you as well. I need all the help I can get. Uh, wow, the interior. There wasn't much information about the facilities, so it's my first time since it seeing these. Anyways, let's head to the entrance hall. The other ultimate students. I wonder if they're already here. Doo -doo. No need to get nervous. The Academy recognized my luck as a talent, so I can be proud of it. <laughs> my stupid freaking talent. <laughs> That's totally useless. Let's be confident. They'll probably be good people. I call myself and made up my mind. Right, I'm already inside Hope Speak Academy. This one step I'll make will be full of hope. <laughs> you gotta sound like Kamida sometimes, bro. <laughs> they're all brimming with hope. Okay. This should be the entrance hall. We all think he's Ginger Nagi when he's Ginger Kamida. The entrance hall. From what I remember, all freshmen were told to gather here. When I stepped inside, what I saw was... Yay, the whole gang's here. Oh, she kind of looks like Asahina in the back. With the sports outfit and stuff. Short hair, you know. <laughs> He's got the Hifumi hair, the green-haired guy. <laughs> now that's an Ahoge, baby. <laughs> Dumb. Oh, thank you, Zephy. Ahoge, please, here, here, arresting Yuki Maida right now. <laughs> JK, I'm excited for a completed fan fangan. Me too. Thanks for, uh, thanks for stopping by and thanks for the donation. I appreciate it. <laughs> okay, ultimate maid, ultimate, like, cheerleader. The girl with the blonde hair looks kind of normal. There's a policeman, ultimate sprinter or something, I guess. Huh, another person. I heard there are 15 new students this time, so we should all be here. 15 new students. Oh no, you know what that means. <laughs> Makuro Ikasaba, the ultimate uh, student hiding in the academy. I can't remember the uh, exact, uh, <laughs> the exact uh, copy pasta. What are you doing there? <laughs> Come here. They're the ones selected to enter Hope Speak Academy this year, just like me. The very symbols of hope were standing right by my eyes. Okay, I'm not sure what the blonde-haired guy is either. Oh, the little pixels are cute. Okay. <laughs> so nervous. You can do this, Yuki. Hey, are you all this year's freshman? Yep, you're the last one to come. Though I shouldn't make fun of you, because I was the 14th. <laughs> Whoa, you all came early. I thought I could take some time coming here since the call was at 8. Huh? Not really. It hasn't been long since we all gathered here. It was like a group of late students rushing in all at once. Okay. Then did you all just arrive here? I suppose so. Now that you came, we're finally all here. I 
feel like I don't trust him for some reason. I just met him. I guess it's kind of like the, the red eyes. They're the ultimate students excelling in each of their fields. I noticed some here look certainly beyond my level, but most of them seem nice and friendly. Um, nice to meet you all. So we're all going to be classmates this year. Hoo-hoo, I'm already looking forward to this new school life in Hope's Peak Academy. I thought a bunch of weirdo- I thought of a bunch of weirdos when I heard this ultimate thing, but you guys look pretty more normal than I thought. I'm like trying to figure out who I think is like <laughs> the most Junko-like, you know? It's like, I feel like the cheerleader, maybe? I mean, I'm assuming she's a cheerleader. Oh, well, there's a clown dude. <laughs> what, what is he? <laughs> it's like a little jester guy. The ultimate, <laughs> the ultimate clown. I have used the clown emoji more than anybody else in existence. So it wasn't just me. I was half excited and half worried over what my classmates would be like. That surprised me. I was so worried of meeting the others because I'm the only student chosen for my luck. But those with real ultimate titles were thinking about the same thing? Hey guys, how about introducing ourselves to each other since we all came here? It's kind of like Tojo. You mean a self-introduction? It will take a while for the teachers to get here and we don't even know each other's names yet. If we're going to be classmates in Hopes Be Academy, shouldn't we get to know about each other? <laughs> it's time to bond before we die, guys. I I icebreakers, I'm gonna give you a nerdy voice since you got the Fumi hair. <laughs> I'm already feeling a bit all overish. Oh, what is that? <laughs> What's that guy's talent? Is it gonna be like a fanfic writer, too? That sounds like a good idea. There's nothing else to do here, anyways. Besides, we should at least know what each other's names are. Aw, you're so cute. You kind of remind me of Chihiro. And we have it settled. I give you a cute voice. Introduction time, a chance to learn about the others for the first time. It's time to bond before they die. Choose your favorites. I'm starting to get curious and want to talk as long as I can to know about my classmates. Considering that we just met each other, let's get familiar with them little by little through talking. Uh, this was a bit unexpected, but it's how friends are made, right? Let's see. Okay, just kind of go with a, whatever order I want to. Let's start with these five. Oh, and <laughs> just kidding. You can save your progress on the canvas in the top right. Oh, cool. Oh, okay, so I can go up here to save. That's cool. I was kind of wondering. A white canvas. Would you like to save your progress? Hell yeah. Okay, can I? I just want to make sure it like, went through. Okay, cool. <laughs> save again. Um, I guess we can talk to the pilot dude first. Let's go in order. My name is ha Haruhiko Kobashikawa. Nice to meet you. Let's get along. <laughs> okay, ultimate pilot. Okay, cool. That makes sense. A Dipsy. <laughs> Who's Dipsy? <laughs> That's kind of a funny name. <laughs> Koba Shikawa? The one who became a hot topic for the passenger plane test flight at Narita Airport? Whoa, huh? You knew me? Oh, well, this is kind of embarrassing. Right, I'm the Koba, Koba Shikawa you're talking about. I'm freaking awesome. Oh uh, yeah, I think I saw him from the HBA new students thread yesterday. He's the ultimate pilot who flew a light aircraft at the age of five and then, oh my, what? <laughs> at the age of five? <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> who thought that was a good idea? <laughs> Get in the plane, honey. Yeah, you can fly it. I, I believe in you. <laughs> and then became an expert in operating all kinds of aircrafts. I like, uh, like airliners, helicopters, and even space probes. A few days ago, I was asked to fly a plane with real passengers to celebrate my admission to Hope Speak Academy as an ultimate pilot. Uh, what I used to do was secret test flights, cargo transport, and acrobatics, but carrying people with a real airliner was pretty fun too. Of course, someone else had to do the announcements for me because I'm terrible at foreign languages. <laughs> Got a big smile. Being a pilot, doesn't it require those kinds of skills? Well, that's true most of the time. I just drive with my senses. I've been flying planes since I was young without any instruction. Who <laughs> put him in a plane at five? You, you got this, honey. <laughs> no instructions. It's like they're trying to kill him. <laughs> we need to get rid of our son. We gotta, we gotta figure out a way. We were just telling him to fly a plane, you know? It's just whatever. <laughs> I never got any specialized education on it. I think my parents were trying to murder me. It's no big deal. Using senses when a single mistake can lead to a fatal event. Is that what geniuses are like? <laughs> By the way, what's your name? Oh, sorry, my name is Yuki Maida. Or is it Maida? I think it might be Maida. Yuki Maida, I hope we can be good friends, Haruhiko. <laughs> yeah, just call me Haru. Let's get along. Nice, he was nice. 
He looks like a cheerful and sociable person. It's relieving to know that he isn't the mad genius type. I'm sure there's gonna be a few of those. Hi, my name is Akane Tyra. Akane, nice to meet you. Akane Tyra, ultimate maid. I like Kurumi. Akane Tyra, she drew everyone's attention in the thread, being the ultimate maid. She's a master of cooking, cleaning, hospitality, management, <laughs> the perfect waifu, and all services except for a few indecent ones. <laughs> she works by employment, so she travels anywhere that can afford to hire her. Her cute appearance and bright personality has already idolized her among wealthy business owners. Uh, I hope they're not being creepy to her. Nice to meet you. I'm Yuki Maida. Oh, you shy. Nice to meet you too, Yuki. I understand now that I've met her for real why people were saying I wish I had enough money to hire a Kane in the thread. I thought it was pretty hard to see a real oh I thought it was pretty hard to see a real maid nowadays. Unless you go somewhere like a maid cafe in Akihabara. Maid cafe? That's just a cafe. <laughs> They're not real maids. Will you please not compare me to those part-timers? What I am doing is not for those otakus. I take pride in my work because it helps people in real need and gives them happiness. Get it? Don't ever say that again. Sorry, it was the first thing that came to mind when I saw your maid uniform. Now that you now that, now that you know, it's fine. Since I'm talented in helping others, I'll help you anytime when you have a problem. She's a kind person with a bright personality. Her work seems to be of great pride for her. Still, I have a feeling that she'll become really scary if she gets angry. <laughs> Don't compare me to those otakuists. <laughs> nice. Oh my... Maeda. Maeda. It's like kind of like Ko Maeda. I kind of figured it was something like that. Uh, I was, I'm replying to Ryan Christie in the chat. Okay. Ayame Hatano. Nice to meet you. Oh, Ultimate Sprinter. I was right. <laughs> nice. Ayame Hatano. From what I saw in the thread, she holds the world's record of running 100 meters in 9 seconds and is getting the world's attention for her promising future in track and field events. You can't even kill her. How would you catch her? <laughs> You have to like knock her out or something to kill her. I'm Yuki Maida, nice to meet you too. All right, I'm not good at talking with others. So please understand if I speak nonsense or wander off by myself. Aw, can't communicate well. I've been reading, or I've been watching uh, Komi Can't Communicate on Netflix. It's so cute. I love characters like that who are like kind of awkward. <laughs> I was like, I kind of wonder if she's gonna be like that. I've been hearing, I've been hearing that a lot. I get tired of talking with you, something like that. Aw. It's why I like sports. Both me and my opponent can focus on our minds without any words. Maybe it's the reason I'm being a sprinter. Aw, oh, poor thing. Uh, I'll talk to you. <laughs> Sorry, I started wandering off again. My apologies for annoying you. Oh, no, you didn't annoy me. No, it wasn't annoying at all. No need to apologize. Ryan, my bad. I still have a long... <laughs> still got a ways to go. Okay, Ryoma. She looks strong, upright, and really tough, but she also seems a bit odd at times. But let's keep that to myself to make matters simple. I don't know what the trope is for that, but I love characters that are like, I don't know, they come off kind of like serious, you know, but they're just like super awkward and uh, cute. Oh, okay, okay, sorry. Sorry, Yuki. They're just like kind of like awkward and cute. They want to make friends, they just don't know how. I don't know what that trope is, but I think that's like super, uh, I don't know, just always the trope's really cute. Yo, nice to meet ya. You. you probably know who I am already. But let me introduce myself anyways. I'm Mitsuhiro Higa, or Mitch, as you might know. <laughs> I'm famous, bro. Oh, uh, ultimate soccer player. That's what he was. Duh. I saw a picture of him earlier. Mitch, the ace player of the National Youth Athletes team, right? Oh, he's got like a one earring on, too. Interesting. Right, I'm Mitch Higa. That's what I that's what I was expecting. Mitsuhiro Higa, his immense popularity meant I didn't even need to search the thread. Given his title of a super rookie in the national team, he surely deserves to be the ultimate soccer player. Nice to meet you, I'm Yuki Maida. I hope we can become good friends. Yeah, sure thing. But I think I've never heard of you before. You look too ordinary. <laughs> Can't really feel the aura. Are you the bogus lucky student, bro? Oh, it's, uh, it's because I'm a... Uh... Uh, never mind, maybe it's because I'm so famous compared to you. God, I'm just so freaking awesome. <laughs> Anyways, how do you feel about a world-class celebrity like me being your classmate? Oh, what my autograph. I feel like they're totally going to be baiting us with this character. Like, um, he does remind me so much of Leon. 
I feel like he might last a while because I feel like they're betting on like you playing this and being like, okay, this is this guy's a lot like Leon, kind of full of himself, like a uh, <laughs> kind of, you know, oh, I'm super famous, super cool. I bet he's gonna be like a ladies' man too. I feel like it might like make it seem like he's gonna be the first killer, but he's not. Who will my autograph? Sure, I'll ask you later. <laughs> eBay, selling that shit on eBay, bro. Being a soccer player did make him much more famous than the other students. But can he fix that attitude? All I saw on TV was him playing soccer, so maybe this is what he's normally like. God, I'm so fucking cool. <laughs> Kakuru, Kakuru Yamaguchi, nice to meet you. I'm here as the ultimate lawyer. Oh, wow, you're pretty swole for a lawyer. Ultimate lawyer. Kakuru Yamaguchi. <clears throat> I saw on the thread that he is the ultimate lawyer. He became proficient in the study of legal knowledge at a young age and is currently in the workforce. He seemed kind of shy. I wondered what kind of nerd he would be when I just read the info. <laughs> Why is he so swole? <laughs> Are you really Kakaru Yamaguchi? What do you mean by that? What was that? He looks more like someone in a gang. I mean, you're you're a lawyer, right? You look kind of different from what I imagined. I wonder if like he would be related to like a gang, and that was why he became like a lawyer. To, like, I don't know, like help people he might know that he cares about who are like on the bad side of the law. I could kind of see that. Uh, I'm not totally sure though. And no offense, please, please don't get angry. Please don't beat me up. I'm not angry. Uh, um, it's oh, <laughs> oh my god, no, you're so cute. Uh, it, it's that I, I tend to be a bit shy. How, how should I explain it with an appearance like this? <laughs> Freaking... <Ooh -woo. laughs> oh my god, that's adorable. I was just trying to look less frightening. I know that I don't look like a lawyer. <laughs> You're gonna see him dressed up in like prig fills and stuff later. <laughs> oh man. Okay, sorry about that. You don't have to, <laughs> you don't have to do it now. <laughs> But doesn't a lawyer speak in court with a lot of people watching? If you're that shy, I can't imagine you doing it. <laughs> the court is a different matter. I love this. He's totally gonna die, but I love him. <laughs> He's so precious. I can't bring myself to be confident in everyday conversations for a strange reason. Ugh. Anyways, my name- Oh, anyways, my name is Yuki Maida. Nice to meet you. Right, Yuki. Nice to meet you. Let's break the ice and be close friends. <laughs> Let's be besties, bro. I was staggered to find him so different from what I imagined at first, but he doesn't seem like a bad person. Still, why did he grow those muscles as a lawyer? Maybe I'll ask him later. <laughs> I love him. Well, it seems like I've talked to all five of them. Let's go talk to the other ones who finished their introduction. <laughs> I think he's my favorite so far. <laughs> the freaking little uwu. <laughs> little fingers. <laughs> Precious. Next are these five. Okay. Dee -dee. I guess I'll go ahead and save. Why not? Just in case my computer crashes or something. Oh, hey! Ah, oh, you're so cute. Pleasure to meet you. I'm Kanata Inori. Ah, oh, you're so adorable. Ultimate surgeon. Okay, cool. I was wondering. I was thinking like a pharmacist or something. So this is Kanata Inori. According to the thread I saw last night, she's the ultimate surgeon who mastered all knowledge related to the surgical field and has performed several surgeries herself. Oh my gosh, wow. Nice to meet you. I'm Yuki. Oh, <laughs> why, why do I keep sounding? Why does my voice keep changing? Nice to meet you. I'm Yuki Maida. Let's be good friends. Yeah, I am delighted to make your acquaintance, Mr. Maida. <laughs> Mr. Maida. No need to get formal. Feel free to talk as you like. No, it's okay. It's kind of a habit I developed to show respect to my patients as a doctor. <laughs> You're so adorable. I would be like, why is this like 12 year old coming to do surgery on me though? <laughs> I can't imagine her doing surgery. <laughs> He's too cute. Oh, does this bother you? Then I'll try my best to talk in a more casual manner. Not at all. You don't need to. <laughs> is that so, Mr. Mida? You are a kind person. Mr. Mida, please come see me if you happen to get injured during the school year. Ah, uh, yeah, you'll be a good person uh, to help out with, like, people get, you know, I guess, like, um, doing, like, autopsies and stuff the bodies, kind of like what Mikan did. I'm confident that I can treat you better than the school nurse. <laughs> I'm totally better than Mikan. She sure is the ultimate surgeon. She looks very nice and polite. Oh, my God. If she's a killer, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to flip. <laughs> I can see. I feel like a surgeon-based, like, execution would be so cool. 
but it would be so depressing because she just seems so adorable and sweet, you know? She looks very nice and polite. It feels like she's a little sister because of her height. Aw, adorable. Okay, sussy girl to me just because, I don't know, I think it's just the twin tails and like, I mean, Junko doesn't have like fully pink hair, but it's like pink-ish, you know what I mean? I'm Kazuma Tamori. Nice to meet you. I'm gonna give you the that voice. The what was it like Valley Girl voice? Kazuma Tamori. According to the thread, she is the ultimate cheerleader, also known as the Lucky Girl, because the team she cheers for always becomes the winner of the game. <laughs> I cheat. <laughs> the sports team in her middle school was known for having a 100% chance of winning, thanks to her. Oh. She does have a nice look, and I would certainly be motivated if somebody like her cheers for me. Is that why? Nice to meet you, Kazuna. My name is Yuki Maida. Hey, Yuki. I like your name. Can I call you Jesse Yu as a nickname? Huh? But we just met each other. Is it okay? It's to get as close as I can to you guys. Heart. <laughs> why do you say heart? Well, I won't say no, but... <laughs> Yay. Then it's a yes. Let's be friends, you. Okay. Do you play any kind of sport? Uh, do, you, do you play any kind of sports? I'll cheer for you really hard as your classmate. I love how they like don't ask um, Yuki like what his talent is. They're just like, I'm the cheerleader, I'm the soccer player, and we don't really care about you. <laughs> you're too average. We know you're the the lucky student. It is kind of interesting that uh, her talent has to do with luck. I don't know if they're just trying to like psych me out though, because she does kind of look a little bit like Junko, you know. I feel like that's probably what it's gonna. Probably what it's gonna be like. We'll see. Do you play any kind of sports? I'll cheer for you really hard as your classmate. Not really, and you're getting too close to me. <laughs> what? Oh my god, I saw somebody say Miyu vibes in the chat. It was like, I do, I do kind of see that now. What's the problem? It's natural for friends to have some physical contact. What is she doing? It's much more than what I can handle. Is she a pervert or something? She doesn't seem to have any bad intents, but personal space. Okay, Mishonen guy. Nice to meet you. My name is Suguru Kanojo. Let's get along. Ultimate police officer. Uh, Su Surugu Surugi. Su I can't. I can't freaking speak. Surugi Kine Kin Kinjo. Surug. Wait. Surugi Kinjo. Okay. <laughs> I promise I can read. How can I forget that name? He's the ultimate police officer who works in actual crime scenes with his outstanding intelligence and stellar abilities. I don't know. I feel like I slightly don't trust him because he has red eyes. I'm like, <laughs> like who else had red eyes in Dying Rampa? I feel like did Maki have red eyes? She was nice. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know, just something about red eyes. I'm like, mm, seems a little, a little evil. <laughs> I don't know. It's even said that the police department calls him directly and grants him authority to solve complicated cases. Uh, he appears on TV often, which heated up discussions on the threads last night. Hi, I'm Yuki Maida. I feel strange to see someone I've seen on the television all the time for real. Su Surugi. Okay. Surugi. I will try that. <laughs> oh, KG. <laughs> I saw somebody say KG in the comments. I can see that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ishimaru has red eyes, too. And he was... He was dope. <laughs> I need to stop judging him. I don't know why. I just always think of red eyes as being, like, kind of, like, evil. But that's never really been the case in Danganronpa, from what we've seen. Uh, TV. Ah, oh, you mean when I spoke on the media a few times? Yeah, you're s yeah, you're so famous that almost everyone in the country knows you. I think you've accomplished accomplished so many great things at our age. To think, uh, yeah, yeah. no, I'm not even close. Crime in this country continues to flourish no matter how hard I try. I don't think so. You're underestimating yourself. Sure, you can think that way, but it's my dream. I'm trying to think. I don't know. Uh, I guess we'll see how like. I could see him lasting a while, but I could also kind of maybe see him being like a victim too if he's like trying to protect somebody i guess it depends on how like strong his sense of justice is i can see him like accidentally getting killed for like trying to protect somebody else you know what i mean but it's my dream putting an end to all crime in this world i've dreamed of it since i was a child growing up under my father all right your father was also a police officer i feel like <laughs> it's just me or police officer characters always have like dad issues <laughs> like i don't know either like they really look up to their dad or their dad died or they're abandoned by their dad. I don't know. I just always feel like there's something with their dad. So you knew, but it's a little bit more complicated. I don't think it's a good topic for now. Let's talk about it later. I knew it, dad issues. Okay, anyways, it was nice to meet you. Putting an end to all crime in this world. 
<laughs> it's kind of sounded like light yagami. <laughs> we know how that worked out. He has a somewhat unrealistic but definite goal. He's a righteous figure that, just like I thought. Okay, I'll stop judging you, bro. <laughs> I'll give you a chance. <laughs> dot, 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 dot. Um, well, hi. Ultimate, like, oh, you're the exorcist, aren't you? Um, I'll start. My name is Yuki Maida. What's yours? Uh, <laughs> um, Mikako Kurakawa. Oh, you're shy. Ultimate Exorcist, yeah. Oh, oh, I remember Mikako Kurokawa. There wasn't much about her on the thread, and according to the bits of information I could find, nice to meet you. So you practice something like exorcism? Uh, oh. I give up. She won't speak a word for God's sake. She's said to be the she's said to be an expert on exercising demons and ghosts. And her exceptional talent granted her the title of ultimate exorcist, I think. Demons and ghosts, things deemed so unscientific in modern society. I can't tell whether they're real or not. You think my talent's fake too, don't you? I knew she wouldn't be ordinary when I saw the info, but I didn't expect her to refuse all kinds of communication. I feel like she's gonna be somebody to live long. I don't know if I really see her as like a killer. I don't know, I'm just like, I'm trying to like big brain it, you know what I mean? A goth GF, oh my God, did people in chat? <laughs> I feel like, um, yeah, she kind of gives me like Yoko vibes as well, Diamond. Like, uh, she seems like sus, but I feel like it's just trying to psych us out because she's not talking and stuff like that. What would be the point of being in the same class then? So, Makako. What? Good, at least she's listening. Um, what should I say? Ah, uh, we'll be in the same class, so let's get along. <laughs> yeah, fat chance. And no words went by for the rest of our meeting. She won't even make eye contact. Did I offend her or something? I wonder if we'll ever get along. Didi. Okay, Hifumi, dude. I have no idea what your talent is. Howdy, my name's Teria Atori. Nice to meet you. I don't know if I should give you... I guess I'll see what your talent is first before I decide on a voice. Ultimate Merchant. <laughs> I like how he's got the rainbow flag. <laughs> you, uh, Pearl LGBT. Teria Atori. According to the thread, he's the ultimate merchant who has successfully pulled off all sorts of bizarre transactions. He was gifted in management and business from a young age. Okay, I was not expecting merchant. Wh why do you have the Hifumi hair? <laughs> the, the, the Teletubby. <laughs> is that what you guys are saying in chat? Oh my god, do you guys, is he the one you call Dipsy? <laughs> oh my god, he's the true protagonist, because he's got the Ahoge. And he has a weird accent. Oh. Uh, can I give you like a Brooklyn accent or something? Coffee. <laughs> Hi, I'm Yuki. Oh, god dang it, I always do this for stupid Yuki. Hi, I'm Yuki Maida. I hope we can make good friends. I don't know why, but I always feel like I need to say coffee before I try to do like a New York accent. The same, oh, the same for me. I guess I'll just do something like that. I don't know what that voice is exactly. Bad mobster impression. Hang on there. I want to give you a special uniform to celebrate the beginning of our friendship. Special uniform? Do you mean the thing you're wearing right now? Uh, of course. What do you think of it? Ain't it lovely? It's the school uniform that became an icon of the latest fashion trends with my efforts. <laughs> Ma. What the? He made that weird uniform a part of the latest fashion trend? Well, that kind of feat might be nothing for the ultimate merchant, but you're just underestimating how many gay people there are, Yuki. <laughs> we all want the rainbow flag on the uniform. Here, it's yours to keep. Hmm. What's wrong? I brought the wrong clothes. Tis the tatami-style pajama set I made popular last year. Oh, you're gonna be so embarrassed if you're in that. So you didn't bring the uniform. That's too bad. Come on, sorry, Yuki. I'll give you a better one later, so don't be disappointed. Luckily, Teria brought the wrong set of clothes. He looks energetic and kind-hearted. <laughs> Luckily. <laughs> but to be honest, I can't agree with his sense of fashion. Good, I got through most of the students. Okay, five more, I believe. <laughs> be careful with your hair, bro. You might stab someone's eye out with that thing. <laughs> True. <laughs> oh, whoa. Uh, who was the white-haired person? I don't think I really remember them. I'll be I'll be done with all of them after talking with these four. Okay, I guess we'll start just start with the professor and keep going. Well, the name's Ray Makaru. You kinda give me Tagami vibes more than anybody else so far. <laughs> Steven do like the Tagami sprite. 
<laughs> like looking off into the distance. I don't care about talking to you. Huh, Makario, so you're the professor from H University. Is that Hope University? Yes, the university after Hope Speak Academy. Ray Makario, she drew the most attention in the thread alongside Sarugi. Despite her young age, she became the brilliant ultimate professor teaching in prestigious universities of the world. Is it because she teaches undergraduates? She doesn't look like my peer at all. Hey, you. <laughs> you, do, you do give me Takami vibes. Huh? Mind if I ask what your talent is? Hey, somebody somebody actually cares about me. <laughs> oh, wow. My, t my talent? Uh, uh, the truth is, I, I don't really have one, to be honest. You came to the school without a special talent. I thought something would be different in Hope Speak Academy. Yet all I get is these pitiful morons. Ah. Excuse me? Pitiful morons? Ray, that's not what you say to people you've just met. It's Professor Makaru to you. If you want to lecture someone, then learn how to address them properly. Oh yeah, you're totally, <laughs> totally gonna be the douche. What? How can you? Besides, I don't talk with those who can't prove themselves to be competent. Same goes for all those who are proclaimed to be ultimates. Just look at how this introduction is going. I'm wasting my time, thanks to that empty-headed maid. But, uh, R Makaru, we're in the same class. Can't you at least drop the hos hostility? You're missing the point. You're missing my point. I didn't enter Hope Speak Academy to play friends with you. <laughs> kind of reminds me of, like, the people in reality shows are like, I'm not here to make friends. I'm here to win. This place is infested with fools who only think of meeting classmates and making friends. Disgusting. I should seriously consider dropping out. Seriously, she straight out threw insults to people she just met. Does she think her title makes her superior or something? Knowing I'm stuck in the same class as her, maybe I should have turned back at the gate. <laughs> Damn. I had a feeling. Once I saw the Tagami sprite, I was like, yeah, it's over. <laughs> Hiya, I'm Kyoka Maki. Nice to meet you. She seems nice. Ultimate? Oh, Ultimate Sniper. Okay. Kyoka, Kyoka Maki. I heard she is the Ultimate Sniper, famous for her solid 100% accuracy. Probably won't be a killer since, uh... I don't know, that'd just be too obvious. <laughs> Somebody has like a perfect like a headshot with a sniper. Monokuma comes out and he's just like, the uh, motive for this time is snipers! And uh, Maki gets a hundred million dollars! No, uh, nothing, no uh, bias in this uh, motive. Shooting, sniping, air gun shooting, even shooting with darts and slingshots. No matter what it was, she always made a bull's eye. I wonder if she would like assist in somebody's murder. That just seems like something that would be used in like a trial, honestly. Like, whose talent is it to get a perfect hit? Or something like that. Nice to meet you. I'm Yuki Maeda. Just seems like a truth bullet. Gotcha. We'll be in the same class. She seems nice, though. Was it Yuki? You look so friendly, you know? You don't look ultimate at all. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> well, about that. Um, Earth to Yuki. It was a joke. Why so serious? I'm the ultimate joker brain. <laughs> oh, why so serious? Did I offend you? Uh, so sorry about that. It's my bad habit again. Oh, oh, it's okay. It was it was nothing. Was it? Phew. I have this bad habit of speaking before I think that often leads me straight into trouble. It's from when I was six and I still can't get rid of it. I'm a real dummy. She seems cute. She sounds a little bit light-minded, but I'm pretty sure she's actually a good person. Slightly careless, I should add. Okay, that's it for that one. What are you, like a priest? Ah, literally. <laughs> what is your matter of concern? Huh? Isn't it introduction time? Um, my name is Yuki Maida. What's yours? I see. I am Kinji Uhara. I don't trust this guy. Ultimate priest. Kinji Uhara. There wasn't much about him. There wasn't much about him on the thread, but I managed to find that he is the ultimate priest and a faithful conversationalist who can move many people's hearts. I don't know, I think it's like, it's hard for me to like trust a character with white hair already. <laughs> so I feel like it's partially that. I'm like, you got, you got white hair. Who else had white hair? Kamida. Coincidence? I think not. Also, I feel like there is like, I don't know, a lot of people have used like religion to like, for their own interests and stuff like that. So I feel like that's kind of usually the direction that TV shows like in games and stuff take it. So I'm like, don't trust you. <laughs> nice to meet you. Like I said, I'm Yuki Maida. He's giving me killer vibes. 
Hmm, may I ask, have you been to a church or attended mass service before? <laughs> may I sprinkle holy water on you, if you have not? Huh, not really, maybe one or two times, but I didn't really go to church on a regular basis. Hum, <laughs> sinner, must murder later. <laughs> Let me put that in my book. Uh, hey Kenji, are, are you mad? I did not see a reason to be mad at you in our previous conversation. It's just that you're a priest. I thought saying that I'm not a religious person was kind of offensive or something like that. It was just a part of my greeting. <laughs> I am judging you. I do not force my faith onto others. I hope that's true. Besides that, I cannot think of anything else to say. If you want to say something, go ahead and do it yourself. Okay, if you say so. God, all these guys are weirdos. <laughs> I'll look forward to getting along with you. Same here. Wow, he's really serious and quiet. When I heard he was a good conversationalist, I expected to see someone who's more extroverted. I suppose he's more of a reserved person? Yeah, it's kind of interesting that he's so quiet, considering you have to do, like, you know, sermons and stuff. Yo, how you doing? <laughs> kind of remind me of, a uh, crap. Uh, I always forget her name and you're trying to die. She's, like, dressed up like a clown. I almost, like, killed her. <laughs> Ah, man, I always forget her name. I'm sure you guys will tell me in the chat. Uh, God, where'd you come out from? Hey, <laughs> gotcha. Surprise, surprise. Kya! I'm a Satsuki Iranami. Nice to meet ya. Ultimate clown. <laughs> what a talent. <laughs> this weird girl. I can tell she is... I can tell who she is just by her look. Anzu, yes, that is who I was thinking of, Anzu. I was like, I always forget her name, but I was like, she gives me Anzu vibes. I didn't know the name, but I heard an ultimate clown was among the freshmen performing in a world famous circus group as a high schooler. She must be the one. I said my name. In this country, you should say your name when you hear others speak there. It's got kind of like an interesting accent too. What's your name? What do you mean in this country? Aren't you Japanese too? Anyways, my name is Yuki Maida. Nice to meet you. I totally read her wrong when I saw, like, a clown. I don't know why, but I was getting, like, bad vibes. I think clowns just kind of creep me out, so I was like, murderer. <laughs> but she seems cute so far, so I, uh, I'm okay with that. Yuki. Oh, Yuki. So you're Yuki. Huh? Y you know me? Have we met before? Nope. Just pretending. <laughs> I'm not Sayaka. Uh, we're not gonna repeat that trope. Ah, oh, come on. I wasn't expecting this kind of reaction, Yuki. Seriously, come on. You gotta react in some way. You'll have no friends and be single for the rest of your lonely life till you die in your 80s at a nursing home. If you keep going like that. <laughs> oh my gosh. So I'll die of old age? If I die from aging in my 80s without suffering from disease. Sounds kind of like a pretty good life to me. But you're forever alone. You missed that part. Oh, you're right. Satsuki should try that too. You speak in third person? Try what? Are we really introducing ourselves? And now relax, relax. That veggie soup you ate the other day will come back if you get flustered that easily. Hear it? Your stomach's rumbling. <laughs> Very uh, theatrical. I didn't eat any veggie soup. What are you even trying to say? I was telling Yuki, let's be good friends from now on, wasn't I? That's what this whole conversation was about. Hey, hey, relax, relax. Oh, it's like Lichiaki. Hey, hey. Wow, she's so unpredictable. I can't even catch up with the whole conversation. She's one of those who make you tired by just talking with. Hmm, very uh, interesting. <laughs> she seems kind of like a strange one. The characters seem pretty uh, interesting so far, though. Oh, Kan, Kanban, Kanban. I'm so glad you're playing this fan game. This is one of my favorites. I hope you enjoy this and the second game. Oh yeah, thank you. I'm uh, excited to be playing it too. It seems very uh, interesting so far. And thanks for the donation. I appreciate it. Looks like I finished talking with all the students. Let's see. Hey, looks like everyone's done with introductions. Yeah, wasn't it nice to get to know everyone? Then what should we do now? Um, what else? Now we have to wait for the teachers to come, right? <laughs> oh, they're coming, all right! Guys, don't you think something isn't right? Isn't right? What do you mean by that? It doesn't seem like we're gonna get, you know, I don't know, knocked out or whatever, like our memories wiped and stuff, you know? Like, uh, in Dragon Rapple 1. 
It's kind of interesting. We just like walked in the school and now it's like, uh, I guess the door is going to lock behind us or something. Uh, I guess we'll see. Do you know what time it is now? We've been talking for six hours. Even if we want to check, there isn't a clock in this room. It's 8.20. Okay. Huh? Weren't we supposed to gather here until 8? The time passed that quick? I mean, the introduction did take longer than we expected. Huh? Isn't it strange? The school told us to come here until 8 o'clock. We all came on time, but they're all tardy. But why are the teachers not coming? Yeah, what should we do? We go in first. I'll be your teacher. Right, we should head in. Right, row. Following a period of fruitless waiting, we decided to go inside the main building by ourselves. And when everyone took a step... <laughs> I'm here, bitches! Huh? Suddenly, the world is red. I think other people are saying something. But I can't hear them. Huh. We're about to get knocked out now. Everything looks red. 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 Ah, uh, there we go. And suddenly my memory faded to darkness. It's gotta be the 16th student hiding <laughs> that knocked us out. That one step supposed to be a step towards hope. Became a step towards despair! Despair Revolution Prologue. Here we go. That's so cool they even made these little, uh, like, intro or, like, you know, little, like, uh, intro cards and stuff. <laughs> Rest in peace, Fruity Cass. We'll miss you all. <laughs> ah. ah, there we go. Now he's gonna wake up at a desk. Hold on, where am I? It's kind of interesting, though, because, like, now you didn't have any memories of, like, meeting any of the classmates or anything we like met after he woke up and stuff so it kind of makes me think that like we didn't really have a school life together at all you know i think so at least hold on where am i because that was like such a big twist in dog Rapa one huh for real where am i i was in hope's peak academy what is going on Welcome to Hope's Peak Academy. From this point onwards, oh, <laughs> from this point onwards, you can press escape to call the menu. You can save your progress in the menu. Oh, okay. Escape X to call the menu. First, investigate the classroom. You can press confirm Z space interact with objects. Okay. Investigation and conversations are the most important factors that keep the story going. It's mostly been inner so far. An explanation mark will appear if you approach an object you can investigate. Okay. Also, objects with a purple explanation mark must be checked to, in order to progress the story. So keep that in mind. Okay. Cool. Oh well. <laughs> Look at all those question marks. Nice. Do, 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 do. Okay. I'll just do it. <laughs> so many. Uh... It's a big locker cabinet, and it looks like anything can fit in here. Like a human body. I opened it, but it was empty. I could see that being somewhere that you would hide something. It's a large iron plate. My brain froze for a moment. Why is there an iron plate Iron plate on the wall? I wondered for a moment before realizing it was where the window was supposed to be. Ah, uh, yeah. The window is screened with iron plates? For what? I don't think there was any windows in the other room we were in. I hang on the wall clock. The time seemed to be a little bit over nine. Assuming that this clock is working fine, at least 30 minutes have passed since I passed out. A uh, speaker, is it for school announcements? Right now it's quiet. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll get a martini and come on here in a little bit. A normal blackboard, it's spotless as if someone had wiped it clean. I guess I can keep interacting with these. Okay, cool. So that's what that is. Do do. I guess I'll do this one first. What's this? What's this? A letter? I opened the mysterious letter on the desk. A new school life has begun. From now on, this school will be your new world. Please turn over a new leaf. You will never escape! Yeah, is this a pamphlet? It's handwritten. It must be someone's joke. Hmm. Another locker. Small cabinet. It's really old. I can see through its gaps that it's empty. A red fire extinguisher for emergencies. It makes sense for a school to have one, but it somehow gives off a strange feeling. Like a trash can. An ordinary trash can. It was empty when I looked inside. It's a good thing I clicked on that before I left the room. <laughs> I 
I looked over pretty much everything, but it's still confusing. Logically thinking, this is most likely a school, so probably Hope's Peak Academy? Then did someone carry me here when I passed out? But I don't know why I passed out to start with. Oh, thank you, I suck at art for subscribing. Was there something wrong with my body? All oh, right, what about the others? I was with everyone else, where did they go? I guess like the red might have been like a sleeping gas or something. I guess it could have just been like a, whatchamacallit? Yeah, like colored red for some reason, but that kind of seems like the most likely uh, reason. I was with everyone else, where did they go? And even if this place is Hope's Peak, what's more confusing is on the ceiling, is that a surveillance camera? You bet your ass it is! It's typical for a school, but something about this position looks off. I actually don't see it on the screen. Standing here forever won't give me answers. Let's get out of this room. Do, do, do. Oh, hey, maid. Ah, she's... Ah, Yuki, found you! Found me? She seems sweet so far. Wait, Akane, where am I? What just happened? I just can't tell, like, whenever I hear Akane, I either think of, like, Akane from Zero Escape or Akane from Danganronpa 2. She reminds me more of Zero Escape Akane, though, so far. What just happened? It's we don't know either, so we decided to discuss the situation together. Anyways, come to the entrance right ahead. Everyone's waiting there. Akane, wait! Dot, dot, dot. Crap, what's going on? Let's follow Akane for now. I wonder what's going on. When I entered the entrance hall, I saw the other ultimate students gathered around. Ah, Yuki, you're here. Come on over. Let's see. Hey, you guys, what happened? We don't know either. We're all, we've only just gathered. I guess they all just woke up in individual classrooms too, probably. Now that you now that Yuki came, let's put together the situation. Put together? Then did you all... Yeah, we all lost consciousness as well. And we were here when we woke up. All in here? Yuki, we've talked a little before you came and found out we all experienced the same thing. So all of us passed out at the same time and ended up at the same strange place. Oh, thank you, Lego dude and Sweet X uh, Syndrome for subscribing. Is that even possible? Duh, that's why it happened. First, we should find out where this is. In this kind of layout, it's probably, it's obviously a school. Is it Hope's Peak? Really? Then isn't there no need to worry? Fools do not know what it means to think. <laughs> Things are much more serious than you're expecting. Fucking brutal. I agree with Makaru. There are too many mysteries left unsolved to make a conclusion like that. Everyone, did you pay close attention to this building on the way here? The iron plates covering the window. I believe this is what you meant. What room is this? It's like, it's kind of, it seems like there are a lot of windows. Because of all the iron plates, you know? Oh crap, I missed what she said. Wait, really? No! It'd be big trouble if my treasure bags went poofing! Hey, that sign says exit, so why don't we go out and wait for things to settle? <laughs> Let's just leave. That'll be easy. Yuki, I assume that you don't know because you were absent earlier. Unfortunately, that exit is blocked. What? Blocked? Uh, it's blocked with what kind of looks like a vault door. Anyways, we completely I we're completely isolated from the outside? The room fell into silence as our grasp of the situation grew weaker. Seriously, what is going on here? Hello, this is just like a surprise performance that we do a lot of times in the circus. Why Why so serious, everyone? <laughs> I'm the Joker brain person. Um, that would only pertain to a circus. But she has a point. Isn't it too early to freak out without knowing what's actually here? It really might be a surprise event from the school. <laughs> totally. <laughs> There's nothing uh, sketchy about this at all. Well, this pretty much is a school, so I guess we can think it's Hope's Peak. That, that easily? Dot, 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 dot. I don't know, I kinda, first I was getting like killer vibes from the police guy, but now I'm getting like first victim vibes. He seems a little too competent to last very long. <laughs> Shit, what the hell's going on here? <clears throat> we were baffled, unable to describe our next course of action. Up until the student disruption came in, permeating this atmosphere of confusion. Oh, there we go. Monokuma! 
Finally. Yes, baby. Aha. Ahem. Testing. Everyone, please pay close attention. This is a school announcement. Can you hear me? Announcement to the freshmen of Hope Speak Academy. The entrance ceremony will begin shortly. All freshmen, please gather at the gym. That's all. We're about to begin, baby. What was that? The announcement? Did it just say the entrance ceremony? <laughs> He's here. Oh yeah, give please give an applause. Satsuki's got the correct answer. I told ya, Satsuki was right. Yippee! Are they running things as normal? Guess it really was nothing. <laughs> nothing to worry about. <laughs> I'm so smart. Really nothing strange? So it was a surprise event. Phew, the school almost scared the life out of me. I wonder why they vaulted the windows. Wait, was that all? Is this how things are supposed to be? To the gym then. If you will excuse me, I shall be on my way. Don't trust you, sketchy pants. What kind of prank is this? What you waiting for? There ain't nothing to worry about now. I'm going ahead. Let's go, y'all. Hey, I really thought something serious was going on for a moment. Wait for me. <laughs> He's like, don't care about the vaulted exit and stuff. Suddenly at ease, most of the others headed to the gym with a bright expression. Aren't you all coming? Don't be late. The teachers won't like you if you get tardy on your first day. <laughs> Why are you guys so like? So accepting of this. They're like, no, this is totally normal. It's normal to uh, put us to sleep. Vault all the doors and windows. Nothing sus here. I can't get a hold of this. My head's spinning without thoughts. Is there really nothing more to worry about? Then what is this feeling of anxiety pulling on my mind? Dun, dun. It seemed like I wasn't the only one feeling that way. <laughs> the people with half a brain <laughs> are like, hey, maybe, uh, maybe, um, maybe something bad is going on. Something's fishy. Would it be fine for us to just go to the gym? It's the same, even if you stay here. Still trapped. I don't know if I'd want to go to the gym, though, if I was in this situation. I would be like, am I gonna do more sleeping gas and or kill us or, you know, I don't know. Yeah, staying here won't change anything. At least we'll find something if we go to the gym. Let's go. I'll think later about what comes after. Can I talk to everybody again? <laughs> you can't survive life if you're full of negativity and pessimism all the time. Think of the best even in the moment. That's the trick. <laughs> okay, clown girl. <laughs> um, I feel like you're going to be like the best girl, honestly. You're so quiet. Go ahead to the gym. I have to look around this room some more. He seems rational too, but I don't know. I just, I get very like, um, burst victim vibes, you know? This, I don't think this is right. Everyone's being overly optimistic. I think I like the Ganta voice for him. Those idiots, do they even have the slightest idea of what they got into? I kind of agree with you. <laughs> I have a bad feeling about this, but I fear we have no choice. Okay, what's up? Kanata. Would it be fine to follow the announcement? That voice, it didn't sound like the voice of a teacher. It sounded like the voice of a demonic teddy bear. <laughs> what a relief to know that this was just a prank. I'd better ask the school to return my bags now. God, I'm so relieved. <laughs> Nothing bad's going to happen. Hari, what are you doing here? Oh, Hari, what are you doing here? Oh, just looking around the halls before going to the gym. This school looks so creepy. <laughs> It do be pretty creepy. Um, I don't know exactly where the gym is. I guess it's probably this way. You here? You going to the gym too? I think it's right up front. Okay. Is there anybody else on this side though? Oh wait, I gotta pee first. <laughs> Nobody over here for whatever reason. Oh, that's the entrance. The store looks fancier than the others. I wonder what it leads to. Yeah, maybe that's the trial grounds actually. It's locked. Can I um? I can't run, it doesn't seem like. Can I go to the bathroom? Looks like a restroom, but going to the gym is priority now. Must hold it. Do So this is the gym. Yeah, it is very purple. It's the color of your blood on the walls. It didn't take long for the others to follow me in as I entered the gym. Okay, it's like a hallway. Fancy. Can't investigate this stuff. Oh, a little teddy bear. Oh, and a sword. Nothing bad will happen with that, huh? You're not gonna use that, right? <laughs> right, Kanata? 
Um, Mr. Mida, do you feel something strange on the way here? Strange? If this place really is Hope's Tea Academy, we should have spotted other students or teachers. But there is no one here aside from us. Why would that be? Huh. Interesting. I wanted to investigate some more, but the announcement kept getting on me. Would it be okay to just go in there? I don't have a clue. That's why I came here. He does seem to be one of the smartest. <laughs> Him and then um, the girl with the glasses. I don't know everybody's names yet. What did he, he wanted me to call him Hero, right? It's like a price stick with that. What a burdensome school. Couldn't they tell people in advance about surprise events? You're one of the people with like the pea brain. <laughs> what is the matter? You do not look well. Well, isn't it kind of obvious? We still don't know what's going on here. Nothing's going on. Everything's perfect. Why does he look so indifferent? It's almost as if he's devoid of all emotion. Yeah, he, he gives me bad vibes. Yuki, you're late. Everyone else already went in. We should go too. Okay, so this is the gym. To find out what we're in, there's only one choice. Time to meet Monokuma! And set up like an entrance ceremony. Phew, so what? <laughs> you guys are so dumb. <laughs> I can't with some of these guys. Him and like Hero and the cheerleader girl. Oh my god, it's totally nothing. This is great. <laughs> Oh man, I'm gonna have a little bit of a drink. My throat's a little funky. For you, so it was nothing at all. It's Hope's Peak indeed. This is quite the ultimate entrance ceremony. Hey, hey, but why isn't there anyone? Where's the teachers? As soon as Teria finished his sentence, it showed itself without warning. Hello, bitches! I would be right here! Yep. The five-year-old pilot. <laughs> That's true. He doesn't have to think much. God bless his heart. <laughs> Here we go, baby! Yeah, the animations are kind of interesting, too. I'm kind of wondering how the executions are going to look. And cue my entrance. Oop, boop, boop. Can I start now that you're all here? Greetings, everyone. I'm your headmaster, Monokuma. Have you all sufficiently bonded? Are you all ready to murder each other? <laughs> His little sprite looks cute. <laughs> I look kind of smushed. What appeared before us was a horrific creature that seemingly defiled all common sense. But he was also kind of cute and fluffy. Everyone froze on the spot, startled by its sudden entrance. Uh, and nothing weird going on at all. <laughs> I, I think I think we can uh, I think we can push that aside now. Um. A talking doll? Yeah, she was one of the, the pea brain people too. <laughs> I'm no doll! I'm Monokuma, your headmaster! Aren't I cute? Monster! <laughs> Calm down, it must be something like a remote control toy. How dare you compare me to a toy? You're hurting me real deep! I am Monokuma, nothing more or less! Neither doll nor toy! What kind of joke is this? Now, now, then I'll start this! Silence, everyone! The entrance ceremony will commence! Um... First, a word of respect for you all, scouted by Hope's Tea Academy! You are all said to be geniuses, literally the symbol of hope, besides Yuki over there. Wouldn't it be devastating for even one of you to get hurt? So this year, the Academy decided to enact a special measure for your safety! <laughs> okay. Best to briefly describe your now-to-start-school life... From now on, you will live a communal life solely within the confines of this school. Okay, so when are you gonna when are you gonna say it's a killing game? Are you gonna not? Are you gonna wait for that one? Please enjoy your life, your school life in harmony and order. We just want to make sure you're safe. Ooh, woo! What? Tad, there is no end date. You can live here forever. What do you think? Sweet and easy as pie. Okay, it's probably going to be like, but if you want to escape, oh boy, do you got a way. <laughs> forever? Did he just say forever? And no worries. You'll get to feast on our menus and enjoy our wondrous facilities. There's always some spare money in our budget after all. We get a lot of government money. Who cares about that? Why do we have to live here forever? Right, you're lying, right? You have to be. Boop, boop, boop. Not at all. I never lie. Just live here quietly for the rest of your lives. 
<laughs> that can't be! Why? I won't be able to get my uniform! Police or whoever, please come save me! Policeman! Police, family, bear hunter! No one can enter! This place is completely set apart from the outside. Set apart, then the window is being covered and the exit being blocked. Where? I wonder... I kind of wonder what the outside world is like in this game, too. Because, you know, in uh, Dawn Ripple 1, it was all despair-filled. Is it going to be the same in this one? Because, yeah, it's like, you'd think people would notice, like, <laughs> them all being, like, uh, missing and stuff. Especially since most of them, like, are so famous. Like, everybody besides Yuki. Correct! It was all that purpose. All for that purpose. Which means it's impossible for even a tiny bug to crawl in. So relax and enjoy your stay in the school. Woohoo! Isn't it too much for a prank? I've got enough of this, so why don't you start the real ceremony? Living forever in the school? What nonsense is this? Prank, nonsense, you're not believing me at all! Well, that's your choice, but I bet you'll know I'm speaking the truth after a single day. We can't do that. We have our families waiting at home for our, at home, our friends. Many things we haven't done in our lives. <laughs> you can do them all here! <laughs> so you want to go out? Hmm, how thoughtless! Do you have any idea what a scary place it is? Be thankful to Hope's Peak for protecting you! It's better for you to forget about such a dirty place. Can't you live here happily ever after? Let us go! Dirty or not, I'm getting out of here! <laughs> is there a plane anywhere? I probably crashed that thing to the ceiling or something. Now, stop with the characters! Wasn't your own decision to come to the school? You should have been prepared for this! <laughs> Anybody could have seen this coming! But technically speaking, there is a way for you all to leave the school. How? How do we get out? <laughs> I made a special rule in case something like this happens. It's called the graduation clause. <laughs> but remember, this is all to protect you. It's simple. Your communal life here will be maintained under an environment of harmony. But if someone were to, di but if someone were dis to disrupt that harmony, then that person alone will be allowed to graduate and leave the school. Disrupts harmony. Disrupting harmony, that would mean one thing. Killing another person, murder in short. What, what did you say? Yep, here we go. Beating, stabbing, crushing, slicing, popping, strangling, slaughtering, cursing. It doesn't matter how, <laughs> cursing. I said that for you, exorcist girl. The one who kills another can leave here. That's all there is. <laughs> it's getting too much beyond reality that my brain can catch up. I remember like, in the first game too, I think like Monokuma didn't even go over like the trial till after like Leon uh, killed Sayaka, right? <laughs> it's like, I kind of remember that. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that was the case, right? Cause I feel like he was like, uh, <laughs> wait, wait, what a second, <laughs> what now? Wonder if they'll do that in this one. Maybe I'm remembering wrong, but I thought that was the case. Murder, are you nuts? If you want to leave, kill someone and win the class trial. Okay, then he's gonna describe the class trial in this one. Then freedom is yours. Class trial. A class trial is the fantastic confrontation. Confrontation of the blackened and the spotless to reveal the truth behind the murder. It was like, I kind of feel bad for Leon. I mean, I guess he did still kill somebody, but I do feel bad that he was like, oh yeah, sweet, I get to get out of here. And he's like, oh, nope, no, you don't. Wait a second, there's part two. <laughs> the class trial is mandatory for all survivors. You must discuss the identity of the hidden blackened at the trial. And your decision will be made with the final voting. If you successfully point out the blackened, only they will be punished and the rest of you will continue your communal life all in peace and harmony. <laughs> Wait, thank you, resting bit face. Just chipping in for your habitual Satsuki cosplay. <laughs> I appreciate that. Oh, it would be fun to cosplay a character from, uh, <laughs> from this game. But thanks for uh, the donation and for coming to the stream. Very happy spotless. In this case, the Blacken will graduate and leave the school, and the communal life will come to an end. Aww. That was the class trial. <laughs> but that's so... And then what is the punishment you were speaking of? As for punishment, is there any other, anything other than execution? Execution? That's right, baby. That's what we're all here for. The grand finale awaiting the loser. Burning flame, sparking electricity, skewered alive or twisted till the end. Be prepared to meet some enjoyable punishments. <laughs> Regardless, try to do your best with the worst possible method. <laughs> The bloodier, the better, baby! Killing another person to leave? 
As soon as I heard those words, a chill came down my spine. I already felt like I was a whole different being. And that's ridiculous. Why do we have to commit murder? I don't know if she's going to do it, but... Somebody's, like, wondering if she's gonna pull, like, the Makuro, like, I'm not gonna listen to you, you stupid bear! Send the spears! I guess we'll see. Okay, it seems like not, but I was just curious, because she does give me the most Junko vibes, and I feel like they might try to, like, parallel Danganronpa 1, like, a little bit, just to kind of, like, lead us off. I feel like if that did happen, like, she probably wouldn't be the mastermind, or, like, working with the mastermind or whatever, but it's just an idea. Right? Stop speaking nonsense! What's nonsense? The human body is actually very fragile. It makes perfect sense to try and kill one! <laughs> Unlike me, robot bear. Not like that, it's from an uh, ethical standpoint, forcing us to murder? He'd be really good to help out in trials too, actually, now that I think about it, since he's a lawyer. I feel like people were saying I say lawyer weird. Lawyer. <laughs> I don't mean to. <laughs> I'm forcing you to. You have the freedom to choose. Kill and leave or don't kill and stay here forever. Aren't I great? That's not a choice! Isn't that basically telling us to live here forever? <laughs> uh, basically! Blabber, blabber, blabber. What are you blabbering about so much? God. L less talking, more killing! Let us out! It's nonsense! Repeating the same words again and again and again. God. <laughs> Can't you understand? This school is your world and your home now! I even told you how to get out! If you're going to continue complaining, just die! Hey, enough with this bullshit. Oh, dude, don't go too far. Bullshit? No, I'm a bear! <laughs> so it's bear shit! <laughs> Come on, man, can't you tell? <laughs> what you're committing right now is a crime. Oh no, is he gonna be- is he gonna die? Kidnapping, illegal confinement, inducing murder. Whoever's controlling you must be insane. Nobody controls me! Monokuma is a wild bear! <laughs> oh, fuck no! Oh no, my man's probably not gonna make it, huh? It was in a matter of seconds. Sarugi flew onto the stage to Monokuma, holding and smashing it straight against the walls. <laughs> oh, wow, what is this? Violence against the headmasters against the rules! Shut your mouth, I despise criminals like you the most. Oh no, dude, you're totally gonna die! You'd better let us free and turn yourself in. In this communal life, violating the school regulations is a major crime. Do you want to be punished? Oh no, dude, no, 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 don't do it. Don't change the subject. You're just, dis you disgusting bastard. Where's the mastermind behind you? Saruga was being serious. As I had thought, he was a righteous figure who serves to bring justice to evil. Oh man, I feel like, I kind of felt like he was going to have too strong of a sense of justice to make it very far. Just see how reliable he is, and not for long! Oh no! He's still a good eye. Are you choosing to remain silent? Whatever you're doing, we... Oh no, I don't like that noise. Do you hear a strange noise? Step back! Oh no! What? Uh, no! Oh fuck! <laughs> okay, you missed it at least. <laughs> Oh, but my guns of Gengar! Huh? Oh, okay, that's good. I'm glad- I'm glad he lived at least past that. I was like, yeah, bro, homie's about to really die. A gunshot from where? It's like he seems like, I don't know, like a- I would like to at least see him make it to a trial, you know? Look at the ceiling! It's the surveillance camera, it has a machine gun attached! So that's what's weird about it. No way, is that a real gun? Of course! Why would I have fake guns, God Luthers? You filthy criminal, you tried to kill me, bro. Just, just stand down, dude. <laughs> stand, stand down, come on. Yes, I did! Violating the rules equals death! I'll be generous this time, but this is your last warning! Cameras can shoot out bullets? The cameras all over the school will not only keep you on watch, but will instantly respond like this to any acts violating school regulations! So be careful from now on, especially you, officer. Ugh. Man, this can't be real. What should we do? Easy peasy. Didn't you hear what I said? Live in this school forever. It's simple. If you want to leave, kill. It's really easy. The machine gun that Sarugu, Saru, <laughs> Sarugi, <laughs> Sarugi almost got shot with. Its bullet marks were still letting out smoke along with the smell of gunpowder. Piercing through my nose, that smell made evident that we weren't in our normal world anymore. 
You guys are screwed. <laughs> Welcome to Danganronpa. Phew, silence at last. That's my good children. <laughs> you guys talk too much. Now the entrance ceremony is almost over. Let me hand over a present to you all to commemorate your entry here. Oh yeah, the mono. The e-handbook. Limited, limited only to students of this school. It's fully digitized with the latest tech. How fantastic. <laughs> we got Bezos on our team. <laughs> the e-handbook is absolutely vital to school life, so don't lose it. It displays the name of your owner. Upon activation, make sure you have yours. God, a fucking new Bezos would be the one behind this killing game. <laughs> it's not the typical handbook you might think of. Plus, it's completely waterproof and sturdy enough to withstand ten tons of weight. It contains the school regulations, so make sure to revive them. As I keep emphasizing, violators will have no mercy. Rules may restrict, but they protect also. Society would be chaos without law, right? Mr. Policeman. This school is no exception. That's why offenses must be strictly punished. I'm so glad the police guy didn't die. <laughs> so that brings the entrance ceremony to a close. Have a pleasurable and entertaining school life. I hope to see some death and see ya. <laughs> Doses. Monokuma suddenly disappeared after that. From open space into thin air. It was gone in a flash. I'm trying to think if that would mean like we're in a video game or something. Or like, I don't know. Like how would he disappear so, uh, <laughs> so quickly? Normally I would have been shocked, but I felt nothing. It could even look surprising to me by now. I mean, it could just be like being silly, you know. But I don't know. I feel like, you know, in Dr. Nerpa 2, a lot of the stuff I looked over was like, um... <clears throat> implying the virtual world. All of us were silent, frozen on the spot and staring into the air. Are we having a dream? Probably, for sure. This can't be reality, right? What, what the hell is this? Fuck! <laughs> I'm sorry, everyone. I'm a police officer, yet I had to let that criminal roam freely around. Maybe he will last longer than I think. Because, uh... Maybe he kind of got it out of his system, you know what I mean? We'll see. Satsuki's head is spinning round and round and round and round and round and round. Okay, we get it. Then what should we do from now on? There may be an answer if we put together our ideas. Put together or whatever. It's already over. But we can't be like this forever. <clears throat> First, what things did Mr. Monokuma say? Oh, he's still being polite. <laughs> Mr. Monokuma. It locked us in this strange place and told us to live here forever. And if we don't like that, if we want to leave, we have to kill someone. I can't believe it. Kill someone? We can't live here forever, but killing another person is much worse. <clears throat> this is totally fake, right? Isn't someone going to say gotcha so we all bust out in laughter? Come on, guys. We're getting punked right now, right? <laughs> that show got canceled a long time ago. When are you going to stop denying what happened? What's important now is not reality checks nor crying in despair like babies. What we need to think about is whether there was a person who took Monokuma's words seriously. Loki, I thought she was going to be the one who was like, it was me. <laughs> I took it seriously. I am ready to murder all your asses. And at that instance, everyone froze. We all looked at each other, struck by Makaru's powerful insight. Nobody spoke anymore. We glanced around as though to scan each other, some even giving wary looks to others. Only those who kill one another can leave here. To me, it came as nonsense at first. I thought, would people really go that far just to get out? But I soon realized that I was too naive. What if someone betrays us? What if someone actually murders another person for their own life? Yep, probably gonna happen. With that ominous feeling, my new school life began. A school life in Hope's Peak Academy, full of despair. And I think that was the prologue. Despair Evolution! Woohoo! That was good. Oh, that was so cool. Remaining survivors, 15. Where is the 16th student? <laughs> oh, police dude, I did not think you were going to make it. <laughs> I did not think you were going to live through that. I'm so glad you did, though. Okay, I'm gonna turn on the air conditioning really quickly because um, I, it's just a little hot in here. <clears throat> this is really good so far though. Was I 
short prologue, but I think it's good so far. I don't think you really need too much for the prologue, especially for, like, um, fan games. Because, uh, you kind of, I mean, you know, like, <laughs> what generally the rules are going to be and stuff like that. I'm going to drink a little bit because my throat's getting a little, uh, funky from, uh, doing guy voices all the time. How long do you plan to be playing for this? It'd be nice to get to the first victim, but I don't really know if I'll be able to, uh, <laughs> if I'll be able to do it, um, quite, uh, I don't know if I'll be able to make it that far, but we'll see. Is this my room? I didn't really eat too much before I started, but it'd be nice to see if we can get there. I am currently in the student dorms. When I placed my hand on my chest, I felt my heart still pounding. I like this picture. It's cool. It's no wonder, having just went through that entrance ceremony at the gym. New school, new friends. Was this like the first Dong Rapa fan game? At least like the first one to like finish? I feel like it probably is. We should have started an amazing school year, but instead we suddenly passed out and became trapped in this isolated place. And to make things worse, kill another person to get out? We were still a bit wary of each other, but quickly snapped out and decided to investigate the school. Maybe we might find an exit or a clue to escape. Plus, we don't even know how this building looks like. What this building looks like. <clears throat> Most locked doors were open after we came out from the gym, so we decided to split up and search different parts of the building individually. And when I entered the school dorms, this room had caught my attention. Your, uh, yeah, the, the name Yuki Maida was written on the nameplate of this room. I was like, do we get to choose our rooms? I was like, I doubt it. <laughs> That wasn't all. The hallway was full of rooms with other students' names as well. Each room had a key in its doorknob, also labeled with a name. I feel like that. I could also see that being like evidence. Let's look around this room. Do 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 do. Monokuma vision. A screen mounted on the wall. I press it, switch, but nothing happened. A red fire extinguisher for fire emergencies. A comfy bed. Do we really have to live here? He even put a bed in our rooms. I wonder. He's probably not telling the truth. <laughs> He's probably just screwing with us, right? A table that seems to be made seems to be made from high quality wood. It shines on the surface. It's still a table that seems to be made from high quality wood. Oh, is there something else on here? Wait, a strange note. Okay, there it is. From Headmaster Monokuma, the room keys are designed to be resistant to lock picking. They are hard to repl replicate, so please take caution to prevent any losses. Yeah, the keys are definitely going to be a part of a trial. I can already see it. The shower rooms are ready, but note that water will be cut off during nighttime. Also, only the women's shower rooms are able to be locked from the inside. What? Showers? So, wait. The water will be cut off during nighttime. Basic supplies essential to school life have been supplied. I feel like that's kind of interesting, because most of the murders would happen at night, and you think, like, be really inconvenient to not use a shower after you murder somebody, <laughs> you know? Check for your notepad, scissors, glue, and pin in the drawer. Pins and scissors are recommended for use as they make great weapons. Anything else needed for your convenience will be added on time. Relax and enjoy your time at school. Come on, Yuki, relax a little bit. Nothing but useless scribble. I crumbled the note and threw it away. Why aren't they did that just so, yeah, you can't really, like, wash yourself, um... Wash yourself off and stuff, you know? A trash can. It's completely empty inside. The security surveillance camera. I wonder if this one has a gun attached to. Looks like I'm not going to get much privacy in my own room either. I see everything, Yuki. Everything! A drawer of average size. I found scissors and a glue stick inside, but they don't look that useful. A clock. The time's now a bit over 12. I'm not sure whether it's AM or PM. I was like, I can't really trust the clock either. A desk with a chair, a notepad, and a pin. We're in the desk drawer. I guess I can leave now. Yeah, Yuki be littering now. <laughs> That's against the rules, Yuki! Just gets the gun out and starts killing him. <laughs> I told you to read the handbook! This room does look great to live in. I don't have the time, though. There weren't any clues here. I should just take the key and move on to somewhere else. Go hang out with some people. Hopefully nothing bad happens. Ah, Yuki, I was looking for you. Ayame, what's the matter? How's the investigation going? It seems you... It seems mostly done. So we have gathered at the diner. Each of us is going to share what we found. 
I didn't do anything except for explore my room. I'm not very helpful. Just come to the diner for now. You should already know that it is right ahead of this way. Okay. What were you saying? Um, bathroom unknown user? Should I go there and look and see if there's anything else? It might not let me. Good. Meeting at the diner. I hope everyone had some progress finding clues. Wait, I'm kind of curious. Can I not go in here yet? This looks like the shower room. I don't need to use it yet. <laughs> I kind of figured. This room is uh, pretty big. That's so cool. I love like, the little pixels and stuff like that, too. Where's the diner at? I don't know yet. Is it here? Bathhouse. Okay. It's cool we can read the signs, at least. Laundry room. Maybe it's this way. It's kind of a big school. Let's go to the diner first. Oh, what is this? Main building. Is this the diner? Okay, we'll just... This is the diner. Okay. <laughs> it's like I couldn't read. Oh, it's a fort. Duh. Oh, we got some, uh, like, armor. I wonder if those are actually, like, usable. Like, the swords and stuff they're holding. Maybe they're, like, spears. I feel like... Uh, it's like, would somebody hide a body in there? That'd be kind of... That'd be a little weird. <laughs> I guess we'll see. You're all here. And you just arrived, Yuki. This is not the first time you came late to a meeting. I'm, I'm giving you a ticket. Sorry. Hey, hey, it's fine. Come sit here. Oh, she's at her own little area. Same with the uh, exorcist uh, girl, the teacher and the exorcist girl. Are we all here? Then let's present what each of us has found. We might discover something if we put our pieces together. It kind of reminds me of uh, Ishimaru the more I play this game, actually. It's kind of like trying to take the leadership position and stuff like that, you know? Um, weren't there guys who went individually and guys who went in groups? How about a group presentation? Group project! Satsuki's heart is pounding with excitement to do her first one since elementary school! <laughs> Don't joke around, we're trying to be serious here! Anyone should start? Um... <laughs> it's okay, bro. You don't have to start if you don't want to. You're all so quiet. Let's make this fun. I'll go first. Fun? Who'd want to have fun right now? If you think this is some kid's show, keep your fantasies to yourself. What? God, she hates her. <laughs> why do you Why do you have to be so mean? It's important to stay positive because we're like this. Wow, I get you're like that, but let's chill, you know? Fighting like mad bulls will only make you look bad. <laughs> mad bears, Monokuma over the speakers. Stop using bull puns. Uh, add in bears. It's more on brand. Right, let, let us discuss if there are any clues to escape first. Your name was Akane, right? Did you find anything? Ah, uh, okay. I looked around the school building with Kanada, Kanada and Kiyoka. We were trying to find a way to reach the outside. But every window was screened with plates, and some doors didn't even open at all. Yeah, just as Monokuma told us, we tried pounding and kicking on the entrance gate, but it didn't budge a bit. I'm sorry. Don't blame yourself. We didn't make any progress either. It's the same for us. That's not a good thing, you know? That's kind of what I was thinking, too. I was like, why does he seem so happy about that? God heavens, you're right! I don't even realize that. Well, it's just as he said. Teruya, Yame, and I looked around the building to search for hidden stairs or passages. All that for nothing. We found a stairway leading upstairs, but it was blocked by a gate. At least we checked that there really are cameras everywhere. Speaking of stairs, me, Sarugi, Mitch, and Kazuna, us four investigated the student dorms. We also found a stairway leading up, but it was blocked by a gate similar to the one Ayame described. Yeah, okay, so it's gonna be unlocking stuff once you start killing each other. Everywhere's blocked. I was so annoyed. And what we found here was rooms with each of our names on. Yes, we just checked it out as well. That Monokuma is really going to make us live here. Seriously? Giving us rooms? Is this a hotel or something? Kakuru and I checked. Oh, thank you. Nobody7796 for subscribing. <clears throat> Kakuru and I checked that they are completely soundproof. Even if someone shouts right at the walls, you, wouldn't, you won't hear it from another room. And the rooms had shower facilities? I have to admit, the amenities here are awesome. It's like a luxury hotel. <laughs> Let's just stay here forever, guys. It's what I deserve, being all famous and shit. That's not important. There wasn't any clues there either. So what? We found nothing. There, you happy? Calm down. I know you might be anxious, but... No one else found anything. 
Me, me, Sasuke made the breakthrough discovery of the century. I kind of doubt that. <laughs> Sasuke looked around right here at the diner, and guess what? It's connected to the kitchen inside. Whoa, no way. How is that breathtaking? We can see that even from this table. There's also a floor in here and a ceiling, and there's lights. Whoa. We met Monokuma in the kitchen. What is it true? You mean with Satsuki? That's an odd duo. Yeah, for real. We were in separate groups, but happened to meet in the kitchen. Monokuma came out when Satsuki... That probably is Satsuki, actually. Satsuki opened the fridge door. If I recall correctly, it said, Don't you worry, our finite food stock will never run out. It's kind of interesting, him and uh, Satsuki hanging out. Like, total opposites. <laughs> I can see opposites attracting them. Maybe they'll be besties. And disappeared. Came out and disappeared as if it's literal as if it's literal meaning. It did that in the gym. It's probably something similar. Does that even work? If that's true, at least we won't have to worry about starving to death. <laughs> Is that one good thing we have? How ignorant. You again? <laughs> that's so catty. <laughs> We're totally gonna kill each other. <laughs> probably not. So in conclusion, none of you found any clues. You really are a bunch of useless fools. Yeah, it's like the maid girl does have like a really short temper. <laughs> and then of course, like uh, the professor girl is like uh, very uh, taunting and like definitely the type of person that would rile her up. I don't know, it's like, it would be too obvious if like one of them killed the other one, you know? Don't you think you've trash talked enough? We're your classmates. We didn't hear from one person yet. Was it Makako? Oh, yeah. I don't talk. It's no use. That girl never says a thing. It's a waste of breath to talk with someone who did nothing but stand in the gym all this time. Mikako, can you try to be more involved in group discussions? <laughs> you guys are really a horde of imbeciles, just labeled ultimates. How did you even manage to be called the hope of this country? What then? What did you find? Did you find anything at all? Uh, do you know what this is? With a confident slam, Makario put down a slip of paper on the table. Makario. I'm gonna try to remember some of these people's names. I'm really bad at it. I'm really bad at names. I soon recognize what it was. It's a guide to Hope's Peak Academy. Where did she find that? A guide? Let me see. The map's only for the first floor, but the gym, infirmary... Audio visuals room, diner, and bathhouse in the dorm. And bathhouse in the dorms. Oh wow, it really is like the same exact floor plan as Dungeon Rapa 1. It matches the buildings we're in. The building we're in right now. Really? We're actually in Hope's Peak? Makario, where'd you find this? In an empty classroom. Anyone could have found it with a bit of effort, but none of you did, which means you all fucking suck. This investigation of yours was an utter failure. Either that, or you all did a wonderful job of demonstrating your idiocy. God, she is so intense. Now you're throwing insults straight to our face? I'm done with you, bitch. <laughs> bam, bam. I'm ready to fucking kick you with a soccer ball, bro. Am I wrong? I observed each of you closely since the introductions, and everything I saw failed to convince me that you actually deserve your titles. Jesus. You, she seems like she'd be an awful teacher, just like one of the really mean teachers that scares you into doing a, a good job, you know? Not the kind of teacher I like. What good is it to be exceptional in one field if you can't think, act, and reason on the same level? Oh yeah? You're so great? What's your talent, huh, professor? Wanna see who's better at fighting? I can fucking snipe your ass. Stop! Is she girl bossing? <laughs> oh my god, she is like the definition of girl boss. <laughs> Gaslight gatekeep girl boss. We can't waste- we can't waste time fighting. Of course, I'm not saying everyone should bi blindly trust each other. I understand Makaru's reasoning as well. You guys are kind of dumbasses. Anyone might try to kill at this moment, after all. Suguru's... Suru, Surugi's... Surugi's speech was a natural reminder to what Monokuma had told us earlier. Kill! Kill! To leave! More specifically, kill a classmate to leave. I wasn't sure if it would actually happen, but again, it hasn't been long since we first met. In other words, we were total strangers to each other up until today. I decided to trust them, but what if we can't believe in each other completely? Dot 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 dot. Kill! Damn! I was trying not to think about that! 
I, it doesn't really seem like he would be the type to kill the pilot guy. He seems pretty sweet, but I don't know. You never know. Like, uh, there's always characters in Danganronpa you don't expect to kill, but they do. <laughs> so we'll see. Seriously, murder? I forgot to read that one. I'm sorry to say I can't trust you all either. If we were fully confident that no one would ever commit murder, we wouldn't be like this right now. Um... Um, at least someone can act useful. <laughs> Are you guys gonna become like a- I don't know. I feel like her and the cop have like a little bit of a- I don't know, I can see them becoming like friends or something. Bakaro, I'd ask you to stop anti antagonizing us too. I can see them, you know, having like- I don't know. There being like romance between them or something as well. There's no guarantee that a murder will actually happen. And it's crucial that we establish some degree of communication between us all. <laughs> I mean, it's not like she's really being bad nice to him. She's just like, oh wow, somebody actually has a fucking brain here. <laughs> Humph, normal talk with would-be murderers. Interesting, maybe I'll try. You can't trust us that much. Anyways, we are now clear on what this place is. Thanks to Makaru's brochure. But still no clues to escape. Uh, hey, this is our first investigation. Wouldn't we find something if we put more time? And it might be blocked now, but there's another floor above. We can't give up on the possibility of a clue being there. Yuki is right. For something so big like this, we can't expect to be finished after a single, day, single day's work. To add, all 15 of us went missing at once. Even if we are set apart from the outside, someone must have noticed and started searching for us. And that's what they said in Danganronpa 1, too. Yeah, we shouldn't lose hope. Even if we can't get out right now, let's find a way together, slowly and steadily. Friendship. Makaru, I won't ask for your full-time cooperation, so at least share what you get. There will, there will definitely be a time when we need, when you need our help. Humph, <laughs> dumbasses. That also applies to you, Makako. You know, it's like, it's kind of interesting, because I remember in Dragon Ripple 1, it was like Tagami and Fukawa off to the side. I don't think Makako is going to be like, <laughs> I don't know, like, <laughs> simping over, um, ah, gosh, uh, Makaru? I think that's her name? Makaru? I think, I think it's something like that. I don't think she should be simping for her. But it's interesting to see them kind of like off to the side, just like Tagami and Fukawa were. Sarugi, you're so dependable. Is it because you're a cop? We would be fighting all over by now if it wasn't for you. That's our ultimate leader. Oh, God. <laughs> Death flag, you flatter me. I want to trust you and leave this place as much as you do. That's why we need to work together and believe in each other. I don't know. It's kind of like ultimate imposter vibes too, you know? That was like kind of the first like impression I got of him except when he was like with Monokuma I really thought he was gonna die but um it does I don't know it's like he seems almost like too dependable it kind of makes me think he's gonna die like first or something you know I feel like I kind of think he's gonna be the first victim out of everybody so far then what should we do next well we can keep investigating before that did you try using the e-handbook that Monokuma gave us do we need to? It contains the school regulations. Monokuma said violators will be punished. So whether you like it or not, it's better to take a look. Punished? Probably like that crazy shooting at the gym. Check the rules so you don't have to face the same thing. I barely fucking survived that. We check the rules, stay wary of Monokuma, and keep searching for clues to escape. Are we all set then? Yahoo! Let's do this! We ain't gotta stay here forever! Uh-huh! Then I shall be good. Deuces. <laughs> Fuck y'all. Kenji always starts thing on his, things on his own. It's no big matter. What's left is keeping our composure and working on the investigation step by step. Let's go let him be sus. Right, it's not good for you to do too much work in one day. Let's go rest since it's getting late. Yeah, we should. I'm tired from all these things that happened today. Then everyone, search the school for clues whenever it's possible. Share what you find. We'll call it a day for now. Although we discovered nothing other than where this place is and had some minor conflicts with Makaru, we stayed determined. Makaru, Makaru, I was like, I don't remember her name. <laughs> it's almost 10. Like Akane said, I should go have a rest too. It's kind of hard to know if it's even the correct time or not, you know? It's like you literally just like mess with the clocks and like change everybody's. I guess like. It'd be kind of interesting. I don't know if they ever really did that in Dragon Ruffle 1, like, mess with the clocks to try to, like, change when you think the times happen. Maybe it was in Dragon Ruffle 2 they did that, in, like, the Strawberry House thing. I feel like I kind of remember that being a thing. 
But I feel like you could easily do that in here too. It's like you can't see the sun, you can't really know <laughs> what's going on, you know? Phew, there really were a lot of things today. I'm tired. Living here forever? No way. My family's waiting and my friends. I'll do my best from tomorrow. I will get out of this place. That's what you think, bucko. <laughs> it's like Monokuma comes on the camera. No, but no, you're not. Just want to come and crush your dreams. Ah, school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. Nighttime is here and the diner will be off limits. Sleep tight and nighty night. Nighttime, the diner turns off limits. It looks related to the regulations. And Su Sarugi told us, I should check the school regulations before going to sleep. I don't know why I can't read his name. The handbook in your inventory has activated. You now have access to the regulations, report card, and truth bullets feature. Okay, sweet. I wonder what the first uh, motivation is going to be, too. I was like, other than the school, like, um, seeming to have, like, you know, the same exact layout as, like, um, Donna Ripple 1, like, Hope Speak Academy. It doesn't seem like there's too many, um, like, parallels so far. Because I really thought the police officer was going to die like Makuro did. <laughs> I was so sure. And, um, whatchamacallit. I'm trying to think. Do, do, do. What was I going to say? Oh, yeah, I was wondering what, um, yeah, the first motivation was going to be. I could probably wouldn't. I wonder if it would be the same thing or not. Like, uh, the videotapes with, uh, them dying or not. I guess we'll see. Compliance with school regulations is an essential part of school life. Open the handbook and check the regulations before ending the day. Sweet. Let me save. Save again. Let me make sure it, uh... <laughs> it's kind of hard to see if it's... Okay, I guess it's like, I... What does I mean? It's like, that's chapter one. I three. Who knows? Let's just hope that, it's, <laughs> that it worked. <laughs> okay, cool. It's already late. Oh, yeah. Go to sleep. Where's uh, Mo where's Mona when you need him? Check the rules before going to bed. That way tomorrow's investigation will flow much smoother. No, okay, that's what it was. I was too busy thinking of stuff. Got a skill, I guess? Oh, wait, what is this? Oh, no skills. You suck. Equip. Oh, items. Actually, that's probably it, right? And book. There it is. Yuki Maida. It's my name. It seems the owner's name is displayed like Monokuma said. Okay, regulations. Students may reside only within the school. There is no end date to the communal life. Be nice to each other. Violence between students is prohibited. <laughs> yeah, fucking right. Nighttime is from 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. Some areas are off limited nights, so please exercise caution. I feel like that could definitely be used for a future trial, too. Sleeping, sleeping anywhere other than the dormitory will be seen as sleeping in class and punished accordingly. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> sleeping anywhere other than the dormitory. Interesting. Was that in the original one? With minimal restrictions, you're free to explore Hope Speak Academy at your discretion. Violence against Headmaster Monokuma is strictly prohibited, as is destruction of surveillance cameras and school property. Anyone who kills a fellow student and becomes blackened will graduate if they are not exposed in the class trial. Nice of you to at least let us know about the class trial. Additional school regulations may be added if necessary. Okay, I guess we'll go to the next one. Report card. I can look at everybody's report card? Oh, wow. Ultimate surgeon. Do I, um... It's like, can I... Uh, I guess I can't. I guess I have to... I guess I have to get more information on them, huh? Ultimate clown <laughs> on her clown shit. <laughs> Trying to see how I can kind of go through these quicker. May 19th. Okay, so enter seems to go back. Truth bullets. You can add access future. Okay. Is there anybody we can actually like look at um any more like information? Kane ultimate. Chest, weight, height. Okay, I guess that's it. What a mess. These rules are so full of, of absurdity. Why is Monokuma doing these things, and who's behind it? I was able to feel a sense of anxiety and immense curiosity at the same time. The rules are a bit bothering, but they're not that hard to keep. I think the others would feel the same. Our only way out is to give all we've got from tomorrow. I should go to sleep for tomorrow. Hopefully we'll be able to encounter a clue. Or somebody will die. Who knows? <laughs> we don't know. Okay, is he going to sleep? Now that I checked the regulations, let's get some rest. Actually, I don't feel like it at all, but saving my strength would be better for the investigation. Definitely shouldn't be walking around at night, homie. What happened to Hope's Peak Academy? 
Why are we trapped here? Leaving behind the countless questions in my mind, my consciousness faded into the darkness. Monokuma Theater! Let's see, is there... Uh, despair! <laughs> Monokuma Horror Theater! An insurmountable amount of despair. The swarm of despair is slowly crawling up from my... Oh, okay, it's, it's Yuki saying it. I just, you know, I just hear despair and I think it's, I think it's Monokuma. That swarm of despair is slowly crawling up from my inside, dominating every sense of me. Yet, I am glad to feel what I wanted. Oh, what? Bro, that's sus as hell, dude. What? <laughs> Are you saying that, Yuki? Are you the mastermind? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> despair. God, it feels so fucking good. <laughs> That's kind of what I got from that, unless I'm interpreting it wrong. How oh, was I asleep? What time is it now? <laughs> okay, somebody's knocking on the door. Oh no, it's Monokuma. Hello everyone, it's now 7 a.m. Rise and shine, or uh, rise and shine, or sign. Let's have another lively day. I don't really remember uh, Monokuma saying that. I remember only really being the Monokubs. Morning already, I thought I had a strange dream. I guess I couldn't get enough sleep in a place like this. But I do feel refreshed. I'd better start investigating. That was so fucking suspicious. <laughs> Is that why you don't have an Ahoge, Yuki? Because you're evil. No specific plans for now, but I'll do whatever I can. <laughs> huh? There's something under the pillow. Oh. A mono coin! I'm fucking loaded, baby! A coin? I've never seen it before. It has Monokuma's face on it. <laughs> I'm here now! Aha! Yuki! I see you found a monocoin! Get that side profile, Weebee! I look good! Whoa! Oop, boop, boop! What are you so scared of? Cutie boys should smile at the sight of cutie bears! Are you hitting on me? Why'd you come here? What do you want? Just telling you about the monocoin you just found! Monocoin? You mean this coin? Yep, actually I hid quite a lot of these around the school for your entertainment! That mono coin can be used to draw a prize from the mono mono machine in the antique store. Oh well, I'm kind of surprised they included the uh, mono mono machine too. I guess we even get to do the free time events and all that stuff too. Think of it as a vending machine, full of fabulous presents that will make your school life even cooler. I'm not gonna be able to get Makari to like me at all. She's gonna hate my ass. I wanna try to give her a present. I remember like whenever I tried to hang out with like Tagami and Celeste, they fucking hated my gifts. <laughs> <laughs> they would like reject me. <laughs> Keep in mind that you need one mono coin per present. Aren't you excited to give it a try? Oop, 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 oop. Monokuma disappeared after talking all by itself again. <laughs> it doesn't look that useful, but I guess I could try it for fun later. Man, the others must have started investigating by now. I should get started too. From this point onward, you can find hidden mono coins around the school. Some objects in the school have a mono coin hidden inside. Mono coins can be useful to play the mono mono machine at the antique store located in the first floor. The mono mono machine contains cool presents that you can give as a gift to the other students. Each person has different preferences, so try giving the right present to the right person. I'm just gonna try easy people. I feel like um, like the maid girl will probably be pretty easy. I guess I'll just see what gift I get and kind of go based off of that. Morning. Let's go ahead and save again. I'll just go ahead and save over a different spot. I'm kind of curious. Just to make sure it uh, saves correctly. Okay. Um, can I find some monocoins? Come on. Come on, Monokuma! Give me some! Anything? Anything, Monokuma? You holding out on me? Come on. God dang it, Monokuma. <sighs> totally fucking hiding out on me. Uh, I saw all the monocoins in this room, Weeby. Sorry. Oh, hey, it's the bathroom. Maybe there's some in here. It's a sink. I should be able to wash my face in here. It's too bad I'm not. <laughs> Disgusting. Well, is this a humidifier? Or it might be an air conditioner. Whatever this thing is, it doesn't seem to be functioning. Oh. Um. A shower. It's not that surprising to see one in a shower room. <gasps> There's something here! Hell yeah! I knew there had to be some on a coin in here. Yes! <laughs> Got one, baby! I wonder if I can go ahead and go to the antique store. Um, where should I start? Stop it! Go away! What's going on? What was that? That voice? It was really close from here. Um... Oh, there we go. Oh. <laughs> Soccer dude, is he hitting on her? Connie and Mitch, what's going on? What the? Yuki? 
Yuki! Um, what are you two doing here? Creepy music. It, it was nothing! Ah! <laughs> Sus. Sus as hell, bro. Yuki, thank you for the timely appearance. Uh, did something happen? You didn't sound very happy back there. Mitsuhiro approached me right after I got out of my room and asked me to give him some physical affection. Oh, Jesus. What? That's like sexual harassment. That, that is sexual harassment, not like... Are you okay? Yeah, I wasn't forced into anything. After all, it's not like my first time facing people like him. Everywhere I went, I had to deal with some jerk. I wondered if she had to deal with like a lot of... uh. I don't know, like, shit from, like, businessmen and stuff. Because, like, they were saying she's, like, a maid to, like, the highest business people and stuff. And I was, like, I totally see, like, I don't know, like, rancid old evil businessmen being like, Hey, I got a, there another service you can give me? Ugh. Unfortunately, but I can see that being the case. So I was kind of wondering if she would have to deal with that kind of shit a lot. But it seems like she does, kind of, um, considering what she just said. But I'm trying to make you do that. I didn't think Mitch would be that kind of a person. Really? I never liked his cockiness from the start. I could have made him let go, but that athlete grip sure was strong. I like that you're gentle and well-mannered, unlike him. Uh, not really. I'm not like that all the time. <laughs> I'm strong. I'm buff. Buff Yuki. Anyways, you got me out of trouble. Thank you, Yuki. And <laughs> Chad, Yuki. <laughs> you're welcome. All I did was just show up, though. Ah, oh, jeez, I'm still not done with Mitsuhiro. How could he think I'm a girl? He could just come and take over like nothing. I should have I should have a conversation with him later. Get the sniper girl to come with you. <laughs> Get some of those people. Um, now then, Yuki, would you mind going to the school building with me? Some places might have been unlocked today. Together? Okay, I'm fine with that. I was planning to go investigate anyways. Great, I want to go to the antique store. Let's go there together. Okay, cool, that's where I wanted to go too. I got to work with a cheerful Akane from this early morning. She does remind me of, like, Zero Escape Akane. She's, like, cute, bubbly. We like her. And no spoilers in chat. I think I might have seen somebody was complaining about there being spoilers. Makako, did you sleep well? <sighs> um, Makako? <sighs> hi. Wow, it takes so long just for her to say hi. <laughs> Are you just, like, nervous or what? Um, laundry room. I guess we can go ahead and see what's going on in here. Yo, I hope you slept well, Yuki and Akane. Isn't this one mighty fine morning? No, I wouldn't call this a good morning, considering we're, like, trapped here and shit. Why just say that? I was trying to forget about it. Now you brought it up again. By the way, check out this room. It's apparently a dorm facility. They've got everything needed for doing your laundry. <laughs> oh, yeah, of course you would like this room. Wow, you're right. Makes me want to wash my clothes here. Oh, whoa, this little fellow is going to be a big seller. I got to sell this. I got to put this out on the market. Oh, yeah, baby. Both of them look like some weird switches flicked on inside them. Can people's careers change the way they think to that extent? Oh, yeah, baby. Time to sell some shit. Okay, I don't know if I'm going to totally read through all of these. I mostly just want to see if there's monocoins. <laughs> do, 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 do. Large washing machine, blah, blah, blah. <gasps> yes! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Give me that shit! Give me those monocoins! Okay, I don't think I can really click on anything else. Maybe the air conditioner? It's probably like one per room anyways. Okay, what's this one? What's this again? Bathhouse. I guess we can go in here. Just talk to everybody. Oh, this door is still locked. That's fucking sus as shit. Let's go to the dining room. Dee -dee -dee. Oh wow, turkey and fish. Right in the morning. That's what a pilot needs to eat, bro. Don't judge me. Hi, just sleep well? I'm guessing you two are here for breakfast. Morning, Haru. Actually, Akane and I were going to have breakfast after we're done investigating. Haruhiko, where did you get the food from? Did you cook it yourself? Huh, from the kitchen. There is sort of a buffet there with all kinds of cooked dishes. I just grabbed what I wanted to eat. Fucking meat! Cooked dishes? Who made them? Most certainly Monokuma. He talked of an infinite food stock yesterday. <laughs> I'm a great cook! Ayame, you were, here t you were here too? I saw you entering with Yuki. Are you two on a joint task? 
Yeah, he's my personal bodyguard. <laughs> Why'd you get somebody so weak? What? Maybe get the sniper girl. <laughs> no way, Yuki. What'd you do to get that close to a Connie in a day? I know, just uh, saved her from sexual harassment. The same, the huge <laughs> gay Teletubby. Did somebody call him that? <laughs> oh my god. I forgot. Crap, what was his name? I know what you're talking about, though. <laughs> the gay green Teletubby. <laughs> We love that. We stand. We stand our gay green Teletubby. Stop teasing me. We're not that close. <laughs> oh, man. <clears throat> oh, yeah. I guess I can talk to you, too. Good morning. How was your night? I like Ayame. She's pretty cute. Well, I can't say I had a good night's sleep in the middle of all this, but I did get some rest. And that's good to hear. I woke up at 5 a.m. to do some light jogging. How about you two join me next time? 5 a.m. You ran for two more than two hours? Well, it's still technically nighttime, too, at 5 a.m. I wonder if that would be kind of like... Well, at least she is good at running, so she could get away from, like, people who are trying to kill her pretty easily, but, uh... We'll see. I don't know. It's just kind of like... I feel like I remember, like, people always died in Dragon Rumble 1, like, during the night shift. Not always, but, like, most of the time they died during, like, the nighttime thing. I remember Celeste was, like, so pissed off about that. She was like, I told you guys not to leave your rooms! <laughs> Gosh, you're really the ultimate sprinter. Thanks for the offer, but I'm fine. Okay. Cheerleader girl. Hi, you. Did you sleep well last night? God, Kazuna, don't stick to me like this all of a sudden. <laughs> He's mine. <laughs> I had a feeling. Oh, didn't see you there, Akane. How'd you sleep? <laughs> you're oddly energetic today. You're oddly energetic today. You got it wrong. I really wanted to give up. I really want to give up and pretend like nothing's happened. But I'm a cheerleader, you know? If I'm down, then the people around me will be down, too. I need to force myself to be happy. Good for you, but what are you going to let go of Yuki? <laughs> you totally have a crush on Yuki, huh? <laughs> What's wrong with it? It's just a sign. It's just a sign of intimacy between friends. Yuki promised to investigate the school with me. Let's go, Yuki. Akana, you suddenly sound really angry. I'm not angry! <laughs> she, like, freaks out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Have fun in your little investigation or whatever. Let's get a date later, Yuki. <laughs> Turns breathing fire. You can't have my Yuki. <laughs> okay, Akane. Are you sure you're okay? <laughs> can't take him. <laughs> I like that she has a short temper. It makes her more endearing. I see a lot of appetizing foods inside the display case. It seems like I can slide open the door and take dishes out by choice. Any mana coins. Come on, give me that shit! Oh no, I keep accidentally clicking it. Okay. Um, this is the fridge. Gigantic refrigerator. It must be the source of the infamous food stock Monokuma mentioned. I wonder how that even works. Magic! There's nothing special about it. Various beverages, fruits, and vegetables were kept cool inside, and the fridge was loaded with ice and dry ice. I'm not convinced of it, but like, oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah, baby! I'm rich! Rich, baby, rich! <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm not totally sure of it yet, but just uh, is that like, somebody does kind of wonder if it's like a virtual world or something, or some kind of like, video I don't know it's just because like certain stuff just seems a little goofy you know and it's like it could be explained if it was a virtual world you know hiya hi Satsuki Yuki and Akane where are you heading it's stuck so close together <laughs> Ooh, day night we're not really stuck together right Yuki <laughs> um <laughs> it kind of seems like we are on a date by the way, did you already go poo? A great way to start off the morning is to please your boys. <laughs> okay. Satsuki. Or Satsuki. I keep saying her name wrong. Please your bowels. I don't know if she means to say squeeze or like please. Satsuki, you're not supposed to be so explicit. Um, I do gotta go though, so like. Yuki, are you leading me to the boys' restroom? No, I, I would never do that. Okay. What does she do? She's gonna get mad. Uh, 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 uh. Hello! Oop, oop, oop. By the way, I loved your reaction. <laughs> I know you're gonna try to go in here, you dumb degenerate. What the? Where did you come out from? Monokuma can pop up anywhere at any time. 
I noticed that you were attempting something dangerous, so I came to warn you. And it's something dangerous? <laughs> yes, I know kids your age are often tempted by desire, but trying to enter the woman's restroom is still an acceptable behavior, and you will be shot down on the spot. When did I try to enter it? I was just walking past it. <laughs> don't go! <laughs> I heard you, Weeby! I heard you on the stream! Haha, <laughs> don't let your instincts overtake you, Yuki, because I consider such, such acts as a violation of the rules, and I will immediately punish it! Immediately! Do you understand? No sneaking into the restroom of the opposite sex or picking in the bathhouse while it's in use. Boop, 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 boop. What was that for? What happens if I try to go back there now? <laughs> it's like, okay, okay, he's not anywhere. He's not coming anywhere. Shh, you don't see anything, Satsuki. Shh, shh. Turn, turn the other way. This is the girl's restroom. I have no intent to go in there, and I certainly don't want to be punished for it. Oh, okay, I thought maybe Monokuma would pop back up and be like, I knew it, you fucking degenerate! <laughs> I fucking called that shit! <laughs> um, can't click on anything in here so far. Oh, click on this. An old cabinet. It looks like school property. Was it thrown away because it got damaged so bad? Who cares? I just want the monocoins. <laughs> um, anything? Really? Nothing? Nothing? Can't click on anything. Where are the mana coins? Can I click on this one? Ah, yes! I was like, I know there's gotta be at least one mana coin in freaking every, every room. And I will not rest until I get them all. Oh, oh god. What is it now? Hey, Mitch, about what went on earlier, are you fucking psychopath? I told you it was nothing. Why don't you mind your own business? I'm kind of hoping you die first now. <laughs> Let's go, Yuki. Uh, yeah. Oh, it's locked. Can't go to another person's room. Okay, these are the bedrooms. Sasuke. Okay, I don't know if it's really important to go through all of these. So many bedrooms. I guess I'll go ahead and go to the other area now. <laughs> Run. <laughs> uh, come on. Let's talk. Hi, huh, look who's here, Yuki and Akane. Hi, Kyoka. Where are you two going? Oh, are you here to investigate the school building? Pretty much, are you here for the same reason? <laughs> I like that Monokuma painted the walls a uh, Peptobismol blood color. <laughs> Just to, you know, set the atmosphere, baby. Me, oh, the investigation, uh, yes. I was just about to start. <laughs> Why is she acting so sketch? <laughs> Kyoka, you were goofing around, weren't you? I can tell it just by your looks. <laughs> what? No, technically a school tour can be considered an investigation. Blah, blah. <laughs> Don't think some re rescuers are going to show up while you're slacking off. Go look for clues. Our lives are on the line. She seems kind of silly, too. That's Akane, all right. She's so scary when she's mad. <laughs> Cute, yet scary. Uh, what's this room? Oh, the antique store. That's where she wanted to go anyways. Dance, dance! What was the dance machine over there? Falling apart till halftime. Uh, so this is the antique store. DDR is an antique. Don't you know that, Weeby? There's a lot piled up here. Do you think we could find a clue among these? But maybe it'd take a lot of time to search through all of them. Uh, hey, Yuki. Have we met somewhere else before? Oh. Oh, no. Yesterday's the first time I saw everyone. Yeah, isn't it? Same with me. But I felt that something was odd while being with you on the way here. We have a friendship thing? Odd. It's just me, right? Yeah, right? It's probably because you're so nice and friendly. Is that a compliment? I was like, I don't know if she's like, I don't think we had a school life with everybody, right? That wouldn't make any sense since it seemed like we already just kind of like met and stuff. Kind of seemed like we would have known each other from childhood. I was like, are they setting up her to be like Sayaka if that's the case? I was like, I like her so far. I don't want her to die. So I was like, I hope that's not the case. Is that a compliment? Of course. <laughs> and I really mean it. Although we met yesterday and spent little time together, I can tell it that you're a good person. Uh, is there a reason you're saying it so firmly? Didn't you come to help when Mitsuhiro was bothering me? There's a lot of people who won't even care. And now you came out to investigate with me when you're busy with your own work. Oh, you feel like a longtime friend, like you're on my side forever. <laughs> no, you're flattering me enough. It's embarrassing to hear that when I did barely anything. And maybe it's just that, but there really is something. 
Something that makes you seem more reliable than the others. Dang. <laughs> so somebody say she's down bad. I was like, she kind of is. <laughs> say, say you look like the least likely one. Say, you look like the least likely one to kill someone. Kill? No one would do that here. Not not just me. Have you seen the psychos? I literally just got sexually harassed this morning. Oh, of course, I think so too, but... <laughs> What I'm trying to say is that you're that much of a trustworthy person. Do you see my point? Yeah, I, I agree, Gabriella. She kind of gives me, she kind of gives me some Sayaka vibes. I'm a little nervous. The sudden bright mood. Does Akane like? Uh, no, no way. The world famous ultimate maid having a crush on me from the first day. How could that even happen in reality? I better snap out of these stupid fantasies. <laughs> that was really awkward. Pretend that you didn't hear it, Yuki. Oh, but I want to make this clear. Yuki, let's be close friends. Just as friends. Like I thought. Damn, friend zoned already. But being friends isn't that bad, right? Sure, I hope we can really get along, Akane. Let's leave this place together. Yeah. She totally likes you, dude. <laughs> totally. Even in the vaguest of times, in an unknown place, our bonds persist and move towards a new direction. Someday that bond will be the motivator of our desires to make us more determined than ever. By the way, Akane, is there any reason why you wanted to visit the antique store? Uh, ah, right. To tell the truth, I'm really into collecting all sorts of rare items. You know, all of my employers were really wealthy. I used to steal shit on the side. Tee -hee. <laughs> Every single one of them had some kind of precious artifact at their house. I was able to have a close look on them, and they started out to be pretty interesting, so I started to... So I started my own collection in my house. I see, so what do you think of this antique store in Hope's Peak Academy? Uh, well, I'd say it's kinda dull. Okay, it's good to know that she likes antiques, though, whenever I, uh, decide to hang out with her. <clears throat> but it doesn't mean everything here looks boring, like this machine at the center of the room. What could it be for? Mono, mono, baby! Come to think of it, Monokuma told me. Flashback! Just telling you about the Monocoin! Just telling you about the Monocoin you just found! Monocoin? You mean this coin? Actually, I hid quite a lot of those around the school for your entertainment! That Monocoin can be used to draw on a prize for the Mono Mono machine in the antique store! Think of it as a vending machine full of fabulous presents that will make your school life even cooler! Keep in mind, you get to get underwear from your classmates! If, you get, if you're good enough at it! Keep in mind that you need one Mono coin for a present. Aren't you excited to give it a try? The coin I found it below the pillow, and I found a bunch of other ones. Akane, this machine is. I told Akane what Monokuma had said. Mono Mono machine full of presents. <gasps> Super cool! Go try it, Yuki. Uh, but this might just be Monokuma trying to trick. <laughs> we can always run if something looks wrong. <laughs> presents. Hey, can I keep the present if you get one? This machine seems to have some real valuable items inside. <laughs> Am I forced to do your free time event? I'm just gonna steal all your shit, Yuki. Akane, I, I see your eyes sparkling. I'll hang out with you in exchange with that work? Sigh, how could it not work? It's the request of the ultimate maid. I'll give that machine a try. I was thinking of doing it anyways. Okay, here I go. Oh, thank you, uh, Dalek. Your commentary within the script is seamless. Aw, oh, thank you. I appreciate it. That makes me happy. Start the Mono Mono Machine. Woo! Let's see what we get. Who are we gonna be able to hang out with? Mono Coins in your possession. Five. Draw a present! That's so cool they actually included the, uh, Mono Coin thing. Oh, Antique Teacup. I wonder if they, like, automatically give that to you. It definitely seems like she's gonna like that. Whoa, no way! I'm glad I got some more mono coins and she's about to she's about to nab this, huh? Yuki, did you get it? What'd you get? Like a teacup? <gasps> wow, that teacup! I can't believe it! It's something that holds a ton of value. Yuki, can I keep it? Well, I'm not the expert there, and I got it for you anyway, so Thanks so much, Yuki. Here's my thank you gift. Let me tell you some of my stories. <laughs> I'm gonna trauma dump on you. Yay. <laughs> Akane and I grew a little bit closer. Oh, it is like a free time event. You can now initiate free time events during your free time. Free times are opportunities to interact and bond deeper with fellow students. 
conserve converse uh, conserve converse with a student to raise their affection when it reaches a certain level an event will occur and your relationship will grow closer you may also raise affection by giving a present each student has their own preferences giving a certain present may increase your affection greatly or make it drop <laughs> i remember that choose your presents wisely after an event, the student's report card will be updated in the e-handbook. When you complete a student's free time event, you can acquire a unique skill that will assist you in gameplay. What was it? Can you complete a skill? Do, do, do. Oh yeah, that's true. I'm just kind of trying to remind myself. Spending time with students will end the current free time. Up to two free times in the morning and afternoon will be given in a normal day. You may choose to take a nap in your bed if you do not wish to talk with others. Why would anybody do that? The plot will automatically progress as time passes. Also, presents can be drawn from the Mono Mono Machine. Let's spend your first free time with Akane. Presents can be selected in the Equip menu. Please be careful not to drop their affection meter by choosing nothing for your present. Okay. You promised her to give. You promised her to give a present. How about trying it yourself? Be kind of fucked up if I gave her something different. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> huh. Um. Wait. Oh, present. There we go. I think it looks old. Wait, how do I? Is that? That's how I do it, right? Wow, thank you so much. This is one of my favorites. Okay, cool. I was like making sure. I was like, I think, I think that means it'll give it to her. I will make sure to return this favor. Teehee. Watching her so overjoyed make me feel makes me feel delighted as well. I can feel my friendship points going up. Trauma dump. Trauma dump. So, Akane, can I ask you a question? Sure, what is it? I can answer any question of a friend. It just came up in my mind. Why did you choose to become a maid? Um, Akane? Uh, sorry, it wasn't quite what I expected. So you want to know how I got my job as a maid? It is kind of an interesting job to become like an ultimate at. I feel like a lot of times like people who become maids are like... I don't know, I guess like maid... Like being a maid, I feel like a lot of times you think of like a hotel maid, it's probably not a very high paying job and you're just trying to like help out your family or something like that. It doesn't really seem like a very like desirable job at least. So I would assume it's like probably like minimum wage or not very like, um, whatchamacallit, well paid. So I could see it like she started out doing it just to help her family. Like maybe they're going through a rough time financially. And then she eventually just got like really good at it and was able to become like professional. That's probably why she would put up with all those creepy businessmen. It's kind of a hard subject to talk about, but I'll tell you since you asked. I don't have any parents. Oh. What? They passed away long ago when I was a baby. I can't even remember their faces. I spent my childhood in an orphanage. When it closed down, though, I was forced, I was forced onto the streets with nothing. No house, no family. In, desperate, in a desperate attempt to survive, I worked with things I could do better in. Cooking and cleaning and... That was the beginning of my career. Like I said, it does seem like a career that you would kind of like do just to scrap by with, you know? Hold on, is it okay to say that out loud like nothing? Um, yeah, it's, I'm fine with it, sure. I had some hard times, but I wouldn't have been able to attend school as the ultimate maid without them. And look how great this turned out. <laughs> You've never been to school? I wasn't able to afford it. My pays were ridiculously low before I became popular. But, aw. Sorry, I think I ruined the mood with this. Don't care too much about my past. Not really. I'm the one who asked you, after all. That wasn't fun at all. Next time, I'll tell you some th some brighter stories. Like things that happened in my workplace. Oh god, that sounds like it's going to be depressing, too. Uh, I'll look forward to it. Right, Yuki. I bet you haven't had breakfast yet. Should we get something to eat? Sure, I do feel a bit hungry. Then we're off. Okay, we're actually going to go to the diner together. I've been around with Akane since morning. We came out of the antique store and returned to the dorms. After a short meal in the diner, we parted ways. I don't think I get to talk to everybody else, though. I was kind of hoping that I uh, would have been able to, like, in the meantime. Afternoon! I guess I can hang out with somebody else, though, if I want. Because it was kind of nice, you know, talking to everybody. Having scenes with them. Greetings, Mr. Mina! Is your investigation going well? Okay, let's go somewhere else first. I need to get more presents. <laughs> Fine, I don't want to hang out with you too. Screw off, Mr. Mida. No, he would never. She would never say that. Um, where was the antiques room again? Was it this one? Antique store. Might want to like explore some more rooms though first. Infirmary. Oh, it's locked. I <laughs> guess not. 
<laughs> Don't even think about it. Audio visuals room. Oh my god, do I have to check all of these to get a mono coin? It's a chairless desk with a small LCD monitor attached. There's a DVD slot in the right corner. The problem is there's no DVD to insert. Um, oopsie. Okay, okay, okay. I should probably save again too, now that I think about it. Okay. Just in case, like, my computer crashes or something. Thankfully, my computer is usually pretty good, but I had some issues with it, like, last week. That's one of the reasons why I didn't, uh, stream. Or I guess, like, not this past week, but the week before that. Maybe it's in the locker. The things I do for mono coins. Who do you guys want to hang out with? I guess, um, we can kind of see, too, who we get, um, good presents for. I was so bad at choosing characters to hang out with in uh, Danganronpa 1. Like, literally every character I hang hung out with died, like, right afterwards. <laughs> so I don't know if I'm going to be very good at, like, actually completing anybody's. <laughs> I completed, like, Kirigiri's and I think, like, Tagami's in uh, Danganronpa 1. But I'm pretty bad at it, usually. <laughs> okay, um, I guess I'll go ahead and go to the antique store and try to get some stuff. Do, do, do. Wait, it's not that one. Fuck, it's the other one. There might be uh, some stuff in here too, now that I think about it. Maybe we should just go ahead and do, um, crap, the maid. <laughs> Is this a Billard's acoustic? I wonder, uh, why, do, why do I sound like, sound like Monokuma? Is this a Billard's acoustic? I wonder how it got here. There's something here! Yes, baby! Oh, that was quick. Is there gonna be any at the Dance Dance Revolution? I can't, I can't go over there? What the heck? I'm blocked! Okay. The gay Teletubby! <laughs> I'm fucking dead. <laughs> you guys are too much. <laughs> holy nails. Oh, rare. It's holy, but it doesn't really, I feel like holy seems like something the priest guy would like, but nails seems like something the cheerleader might like. Venus statuette! Monocoins coins in possession. I have no fucking clue. <laughs> a man's fantasy. Oh my god, do I get one of those scenes? <laughs> do I get the bathtub scene? A large stuffed doll. Monocoins coins in your possession, too. I can't tell. Louis Louis Vuitton purse. Uh, I wonder if um, what's her face would like that. Makara? Makaru or Makara? Tombstone. Oh, hey. Uh, Exorcist girl would probably like that, right? I feel like the priest would like most. Holy nails. It's almost like, it's holy, I guess I'll just save before I, um, I'll save before I hang out with anybody. She might like a stuffed animal, right? She's kind of funky. <laughs> hmm. Who should we hang out with? Let me look at my, okay. We just kind of, it's kind of, it's kind of interesting that like, I don't know, like when you do a quip, it almost makes it seem like we might get more characters later, you know? It's like, why is it allow me to scroll through? <laughs> I don't know, it just seems a little, a little strange. A man's fantasy. <laughs> it will allow you to seek a true man's fantasy. I'll keep that on me. <laughs> Large stuffed doll. Someone's favorite. Go on, give it to him. Give it to him. Sinister looking tombstone from someone's grave. I guess the holy nails might be the priest guy. He's sketchy as hell, dude. I kind of want to hang out with him anyways. Um, God dang it. I have no clue. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't have anything for you. Can you tell us if <laughs> you could kill me with the nicknames? <laughs> What's this garbage dump? I think I, I want in here, right? Nobody's in here, though. I guess I'll try to find the priest. I'm kind of curious to hang out with him anyways. Oh, what the? Was this way again? Storage? Did I go in here? Oh, I haven't even gone in here. Uh, I haven't even gone in here yet. This room has all sorts of weird things. Come on, we need more gifts, baby. <laughs> uh, it's all good. I'll just save before I give anybody a gift, just in case. In case we inevitably screw up. <laughs> okay, dude. Let's try. Let's see if you like the holy nails. <laughs> oh, yes. 
The holy nails! Okay. This is kind of like a weird gift. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's, uh, I guess I'll try it. Hmm. <laughs> I hate you. You look like you have something to say. Could you give me a moment? Okay. Please don't hate me, bro. They're holy, okay? I had a silent conversation about religion with Kinji. Kinji and I grew a little closer. Would you like to give Kinji a present? I'm so nervous. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's see. Holy nails. Okay, let's see. Material girl. <laughs> yes, if I find them demons away. Yuki, what are those? Oh no, he doesn't like it. Uh, sorry, these aren't supposed to be the present. They're dirty, odd-looking nails after all. I was gonna give you something different. Wait a moment. Oh wait, no, he does. He like them? Wait a moment. May I examine those nails in detail? This, why? They're not supposed to be my present. Why, they're not supposed to be my present? Don't mind if I do, though. Oh wait, this, why? They're not supposed to be my present. Don't mind if you do, though. Okay, so he... Oh, he does like it. Astounding. Oh no, I guess the picture is not downloaded. It was a little interesting installing this. Maybe I messed up and didn't get the picture. Astounding, these are Helena's nails. Three nails that crucified Jesus, although I cannot fully verify their authenticity yet. I will yassify those demons, girl. Slay! What, I didn't know these were that valuable. Yuki, may I please have them? Yeah, sorry. I think I uh, might have not ended up getting that image for some reason. Or maybe it's just placed in a weird folder. Yuki, may I please have them? As a man of religion, I simply cannot leave such holy objects unattended for my sight. If it's okay with you, I was going to give you something else. It's alright. I am already truly happy from discovering holy objects because of your help. Thank you, Yuki! I will take care of these nails personally until I until we escape here. Then I will pass them on to the higher ups. Ah, look at you smiling. I didn't expect to see you smile like ever. <laughs> I'm going to turn off the air again and get cold in here. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Fucking yassified priest. <laughs> These are the nails that I slayed with! <laughs> oh, man. Um, god dang it. I might have to figure out how to get some of these images. Like I said, it was kind of a, a lot to download this game. So I may have to see if I can figure out how to get some of this stuff. I wonder if it's just like all the gifts. They're not in the right folder or something. I'll have to ask them. So it should be morally acceptable that I possess them as personal objects until we escape, right? Holy objects in my hands. This is... He is genuinely happy from the bottom of his heart. Somehow I can feel it too. You, oh, there's the picture. You gave Kinji Uhara his favorite present. You got a collectible, holy grail. Oh yeah, I gotta read, um, crap. I gotta read um, Akane's uh, school file or whatever. <laughs> Fucking nail emojis. <laughs> the Jesus nails. <laughs> With our difference in faith in mind, I must thank you for allowing me the time to conclude my sermon. <laughs> Okay, just gonna preach at me the whole free time event. Now I believe you had some kind of important business. Huh, no, not really. I guess I just wanted to have a friendly talk with you. As a classmate, I am grateful for your enthusiasm, but I would rather not waste time with frivolous activities. To state my genuine thought, I would prefer that you use this time for the investigation, and not something of less importance. It is an absolute priority for us to escape this place, is it not? Escaping here is important, but I don't think that makes hanging out with someone meaningless. Come on, bro, friendship. Haven't you haven't you played the other Danganronpa games? Even if we're stuck here, we'll, we're still classmates. With the power of friendship, we have nothing to fear. Yes, I feel the confidence in your reply. Indeed, that may be the solution to the present situation, of course, friendship. However, no answer is always correct. The right answer can be anything you believe to be true. What do you mean by that? I have never concerned myself much with my relationships with others or my day-to-day -day life. Therefore, I cannot side with your thoughts completely. Moreover, a personal attachment to someone might jeopardize my devotion to faith. For me, that is a serious problem. Ah, oh, you can't fall in love, bro. I see, he is the ultimate priest after all. But Kenji is too strict. He might seem like a man of few words, but he's actually quite chatty. Couldn't there be a way for us to get closer? Is there anything else you wish to tell me? 
<laughs> He's so, like, unpersonable. <laughs> well, what about you? What's your story, Kenji? My own story. I doubt it would be entertaining. It's all right. I just want to know more about you. Then let us do it later when we have time. I have not had this kind of conversation before, so I must sort out the words in my head. <laughs> I must go practice in front of a mirror. Thank you. Goodbye. Is that really necessary? You don't have to prepare or anything. Come on, we're friends. No, allow me some time. Worry not. I never lie. I made a promise. I will keep my word. Let us talk again when the time is right. I mean, he seems okay so far, but I do feel like there's a thing when people are like, I never lie. I'm so honest. I'm so humble. It's like, it usually kind of means the opposite. <laughs> you probably lie a lot. That's just my first thought when he's like, I never lie. You can trust me, bro. Trust me. But we'll see. He seems okay so far. That was the only thing that kind of gave me like a little, a little stress. Or kind of made me a little sus of him, you know. I want to hear it now, but I guess I don't have any other choice. He said he would keep the promise, so I'll tell him... I'll let him take his time. Meanwhile, I felt like I became a bit closer to Kenji today. Even though we didn't really talk about much, he just yassified some demons and that was kind of it. I parted with Kenji, quietly saying goodbye. Goodbye. Kenji Ohara's report card has been updated in the handbook. It's getting late. I should go back to my room. A reverse Kokichi. <laughs> oh, thank you, Dexter and Tyrus. That's so sweet. Ah, uh, school announcement! It's now 10 p.m. Nighttime is here! And the diner will be off limits! Sleep tight in nighty night! No midnight snacks! It's night already, and we weren't able to find any clues. But it was just our first day. If we keep doing our best day after day, we'll definitely find a way out. Let's go to bed. I need to save my energy for tomorrow. Oh my god, Connie comes up to me and she's like, Hey, Yuki, let's switch rooms. I'm gonna freaking freak out. <laughs> okay, wait, come on, do it. Come on, bro. Tomorrow, I'll definitely find something. I guess I have to, like, look straight for it to activate. Determined to succeed, I closed my eyes and found myself falling asleep before I even realized. <laughs> Kenji has been yassified in the e-handbook. <laughs> oh, man. Yes, queen. Hello, everyone! It's now 7 a.m. Rise and shine, or sign. Let's have another lovely day! No dreams about despair last night. Morning sure comes quick here. So what did I do for today? Get to hang out some more. Morning. Okay. Kind of seems like it. Let me check out the handbook and stuff too. How long have we been going? Two, three, three, four. Oh, like two and a half hours. I think I can probably do at least like three hours or something. Let's do it, baby. Um, what was I going to do? Uh, item. That's where it is. E-handbook. Report card. Let's see. Oh, there's Kenji. He has a very reserved personality and believes in wasting no time at all. While courteous to others, he likes to keep his distance due to his preference for solitude. Could there be a way for me to get closer to him? Yes, queen. Buy me more nails, bitch. <laughs> more nails. Akane Tyra. She was an orphan at a very young age. When orphanage closed down, she took her job as a maid in an attempt to make a living. <clears throat> Okay, who should I hang out with next? Maybe, um, um, I don't know if she would like the Louis Vuitton bag. Maybe. <laughs> the clown girl. She's pretty funny. <laughs> I kind of want to hang out with her. She might like the doll that I have. That's the only thing I can really think of that she would like. She might like the Louis Vuitton bag, too, though. Do, 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 do. Um, crap. Can I go to these rooms, actually? There's going to be more Monokuma stuff in there. I need more coins. I want more choices. Hey, hell yeah, my Monokuma senses. They never give up on me. <laughs> Kenji saying good to run away with his nails. Do I have to keep getting him the nails? Like, um, oh no, wait, so he's spoiling? No, guys, no spoiling, no spoiling in chat. Thank you guys for putting warnings in the chat too. Cause like, thankfully I haven't seen any spoilers just because I'll look at the chat and see like, spoiler, spoiler, spam. Somebody please. Please delete the spoiler if there's a spoiler in there. I'm just not gonna look at the chat for a little bit. But I appreciate it. Please keep letting me know whenever there's a spoiler in chat so I can, like, not look at it. <laughs> I'm sorry that so many people have been coming in and spoiling, though. It sucks. I feel like anything with Danganronpa, people just go, like, so crazy with that stuff. It's so annoying. I don't know why people enjoy doing that, either. Nope, no Monokuma coin. Come on, rip off! Wait, what if it was empty? But wait! <laughs> eh. 
Thank you for flooding it. I appreciate it. Yay! Oh, it's okay. Thank you, Spanish Sly and uh, Unknown User for uh, timing them out. I very, very much appreciate it. New school life has begun from now on. You can live a new life! Free of anything bad. Only despair! Despair! Okay, I don't know if I'm going to find any more Monokuma coins. Maybe I should give up. <laughs> uh, wait. No, no, no. It's just empty. Okay, it's whatever. Okay, what do you guys think? I'll just deal with the gifts I have then. I think I do have, like, one more. Um, one more coin. <laughs> Man's fantasy. <laughs> yeah, Tombstone, I'm pretty sure... Um, What's her face would like that? Um, Makaki? Wait, can I get anything from here? Speaker! Please, Monokuma, please! Oh, courtroom, duh. It's like, do I have to give them gifts every time? Because it would be nice to kind of like try to focus on one person as best as I can. I just don't know how possible that is. It's a police officer dude, too. Check the guy's bathroom. Oh, no, I haven't. I forgot. I had um, Akane with me last time, so she was like upset. Time to poop. Do, 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 do. Wash my hands here. Give me some coins, Monokuma. Why? <laughs> it's kind of a gross place to find a coin. <laughs> anyway, I found a Monokoin, but it's covered in pee. Gross. Okay. Doesn't really seem like there's any Monokoins in here either. Yeah, I'll probably try to find uh, Makako and try to give her the tombstone. Mm-mm. Do you still know where she's at, Jim? Oh wait, that's her, right? Um. Oh yeah, let me save first. Let's go somewhere else. I'll save the first one again. Make sure, like, it's saved, right? <laughs> like, it's good, right? Okay. Okay. Um. <laughs> spend time with her. Um. <laughs> it's gonna be just like staring at each other the whole time. I spent time spacing out with Makako. Our eyes met. Am I? I feel like I'm totally butchering her name. Me Makako. Makako. I feel like I'm totally butchering it. I apologize in advance. If anybody wants to tell me how to properly pronounce it, please let me know. Our eyes met a few times, but neither of us said anything. Makako and I grew a little closer. Would you like to give Makako a present? Hell yeah. See if she likes it. I just get so nervous. I just remember, like, I totally, like, misread, like, what Celeste would want. But, um... Uh... Like it, thanks. <laughs> Yay! Nice! <laughs> well, you should give Kenji the designer purse. That's so true. <laughs> he needs the yesified nails, the yesified purse. He needs to slay those demons. <laughs> Watching her overjoyed makes me delighted as well. Oh, that's cute. I think it's me, Kako. Nakako. Okay. Um, <laughs> oh, I love shy characters. They're so cute. <laughs> um, Makako? Um, you know, we've been like this for a, like an hour. <laughs> this is how I bond. Hey, can you tell me anything about you? I want to hear your story. Mm. You definitely got a bad trauma. I feel it. Why? Why? Well, we're classmates, right? I think it's important to get to know each other in times like this. Um. This isn't working, for God's sakes. Why is she so unwilling to speak? Should I try asking her some questions first? Okay, then how about something else? I heard you're the ultimate exorcist, so do you know if ghosts really ex exist? <laughs> oh god, did I offend her? Ghosts, they exist, and simultaneously, they are non-existent. Is this in, like a different plane, right? It really depends on how much you believe. Oh, you have to believe it to see it. <laughs> was, that even a was that even a conversation? At least I got to hear her say something, but I don't really understand what she's talking about. So you mean it's kind of ambiguous. Uh, <laughs> mentally stabilizing the body and mind of people who believe in many unspecified evil spirits. That is an exorcist's job. Bye. 
<laughs> Bye, deuces. Wait, Makako, where are you going? <laughs> I have said everything I want to say. Makako walked away after saying only a few sentences. I still don't get what she was thinking, but I guess it's better than nothing. I somehow managed to have a conversation-ish thing with her. So does that mean we became closer? <laughs> Apparently. I stood idly for a while before wandering off, thinking again about Makako. Makako Kurokawa's report card was updated in the e-handbook. <laughs> I learned nothing. <laughs> oh man, that was cute though. Afternoon. Who would like? I was like, I'm still trying to decide who's gonna like the purse. Can I go in the gym? Do do do. Oh, there you are. Yes. <laughs> I kind of want to give Kenji the purse. <laughs> he probably won't like it though, right? It would be so funny if he did, though. <laughs> Slay. <laughs> oh, wait. Basketball hoop. Hey, yes! Monica McCoin! Uh, she's so cute. Okay, let's go, uh... Let's read her thing. I guess it might make more sense to read these after the day is done. Where are you at, Makako? There you are. Makako is a very reluctant is very reluctant to speak to the point where having a normal conversation is almost impossible. I couldn't understand the few words she managed to say. Ah, it's okay. We'll bond in time. I think she's gonna live a while, so I think we'll have time to get to know her. Okay, let us go. I can't click on these, right? Yeah. You don't want to hang out with the soccer, dude. I know it's like pray I don't get any soccer gifts. <laughs> it's like, no, thank you. I think I will take a nap. <laughs> Mana coins. Draw a present. I feel like Satsuki might like the teddy bear, so I might do that. Porno magazine? What? Oh, God. Is that Soccer Man's one? Rainbow umbrella. Mana coins. Oh, wait. The green telescope. I'm just gonna call him that for now on. <laughs> Until I remember his name. <laughs> I will, uh... I might just call him that. <laughs> he might like the rainbow umbrella since he's got the rainbow on him and stuff. Maybe he would have liked the holy nails too. He could go out there and slay. <laughs> are you guys are saying Makako's uh, really tall? Oh yeah, the police guy. I don't think I have anything for him, unfortunately. <laughs> it was like... Yeah, I was like, don't give Kenji the mag. Oh my god, what would you do if you gave him the magazine, dude? He would fucking flip. Teru, yeah, that's his name. Okay, don't <laughs> It is fun to call him that for the time being. Oh man, okay, let's find Teru, yeah. He'll probably like the, uh, <laughs> give the magazine for Kenji. Does he freak out? I kind of want to see him freak out. I'll save first. I can save again in a second. <laughs> I bet he would fucking flip. Okay, what is this room again? Storage. Oh wait, can I actually look at the map? Or is there like a map for this game? Like there was. I don't really think there is. Uh, I guess you guys can let me know, but I kind of feel like there isn't a map. From what I've seen. The police do it also flip. <laughs> I kind of want to see what happens. Maybe I can do that at the end of the stream, just uh, as a as a goof. <laughs> do, 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 do. I'm just curious, you know. Oh wait, can I? I saw some stuff. Oh, mono mono coins, please. I need more gifts. All I have is a porno mech and a man's fantasy. I don't have much to go with, guys. Please, Vanakuma. Bless me. Wait, what's in here again? Bathhouse. Oh, yeah, I think that's still closed, right? Where are you, Green Teletubby? Do I not get to hang out with you right now? <laughs> there he is! Okay. Okay. Okay, maybe I'll, uh... Maybe I'll try it. <laughs> Teehee. What is the what does the I mean? I'm so curious. Okay. Okay, guys. <laughs> oh father who art in heaven, hello be. <laughs> Hell yeah. 
<laughs> you don't know what's coming, bro. You look like you have something to say. <laughs> Could you give me a moment? <laughs> oh, man. I have a silent conversation about religion with Kinji. I got a new religion for you, buddy. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm, like, kind of nervous. He's gonna fucking hate me. <laughs> He's praying, too. <laughs> exactly why you're hanging out outside the girls' bathroom, kid you? UK, I appreciate the thought, but as a devout Christian, I must eschew this object. Although I will take it. What? You're gonna keep it, bro? I thought you were gonna freak out. Although I will take it as a friend's present, please avoid giving me this object again in the future. Okay, he doesn't seem to like it that much. I thought for a second he was gonna be like, um. Mm, uh, I'll keep it for a friend. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> nice. I don't know why I should go with that, though. He probably didn't like that too much. <laughs> oh, man. For a second, I thought, I was like, dang, I think he actually, I think he liked it. <laughs> yeah, a friend's present. <laughs> should I keep going with him, actually? I couldn't believe he actually took it. <laughs> Fucking dog at the chat, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, God, that was so funny. Yeah, who's the friend, Kenji? Let's let's hear about that. <laughs> Yuki, do you have time? Oh, yeah, I'm pretty much free. <laughs> Good, then let us have a talk. Uh, is something wrong? <laughs> I promised last time I would tell you my personal story. Reset time and give him the purse. I wonder if he would like, he might like the purse better. Who knows? I like, I can't tell. I think he didn't like it, but he did take it for a friend. <laughs> oh man. I guess I might just keep going. <laughs> I promised last time I would tell you my personal story. You mentioned something about the power of friendship. So I told you to give me some time. All right, we did. I thought you forgot. You need not worry. I do not easily forget things. Then where should I begin? Kenji tends to start everything with formality like this. It's somewhat awkward, but he remembered and tried to keep the promise with me. I can feel how sincere he is. Right, right. I shall tell you about the time I became a priest. Oh, I'd like to hear that. I mean, how come you became the ultimate priest? Around the time I graduated from my seminary and began serving the church as a deacon, I was in Italy. Oh, Italy. Fancy. By then, I had already spent a considerable portion of my life in Italy. That includes my childhood as well. Huh, then are you Italian or half Italian? Not quite. I was born Japanese, but adopted by my Italian father. Oh, is everybody an orphan in this? <laughs> it's like, wait a second, you were adopted too? I knew nothing about him. I knew something about him felt for. I knew something about him felt foreign, but I never would have guessed this. I was like, I don't really think, like, Catholicism or Christianity was, like, super huge in Japan, so I guess that makes sense. <laughs> I think it's friends present. <laughs> I know. Trauma dump, yeah. Yeah, we're, we're basically here for the trauma dump. Yuhara is, my, Yuhara is my birth mother's surname. My father was a well-respected bishop in his younger years. Although he chose to live a secular life, a secular life later on, his reputation from his former office was fundamental to my entering the priesthood. Sarah's reputation was still pretty good, even though he quit. Even before I came of age, I graduated from a seminary to become the youngest priest in my class. When I reached middle school age, I was baptized by my father and immigrated to Japan by myself to preach in a church in Tokyo. By yourself? Then is your father still in Italy? Uh, I talk to him on the phone sometimes, but I have not seen, seen him face to face for more than three years. Oh. Are you okay with that? I already miss my parents after being stuck at this place for a few days. Who else has dad issues? As long as he is alive, I can see him anytime. Even if he is on the other side of the world, as long as he is alive. However long it may take, you will be able to meet anyone as long as that person is alive. What is this, bro? This is getting a little creepy. That's right. <laughs> I guess so. I feel like the phone. 
I can meet them as long as they're alive. My parents and friends, I'll be able to meet them. I guess he's just talking about being worried that they're dead outside of the school. It's kind of a weird way to say it. I don't care that I haven't seen him in uh, three years, because as long as he's alive, I can see him as long as he's alive. <laughs> I don't know, just kind of a little, little uh, chanty there for a second. After I arrived in Japan, I dedicated my time to preaching. God is fair and just to everyone. Criminals, Yakuza, and even drug addicts. He has the power to save anyone who has fallen to evil. Even those who accept porno magazines, <clears throat> which I'm giving to my friend. But aren't those people dangerous? They are not dangerous. They too are human, no different from us. The real danger would be in the act of looking them up in our prejudice. After all, people can change. One of the pastors from my church once damaged his own life with alcohol and smoking. Now he works daily to preach the gospel to people like him. Wow, that's incredible, Kenji. Your words saved that person. The honor is not mine. All I did was show him a new path. I did, did I not tell you during the introduction? I do not force my faith onto others. He seems pretty good so far, like, uh, talking to him. Like, uh, he does seem like, I don't know. He doesn't seem like a sketchy pastor so far, but we'll see. Uh, it was a path they chose by themselves. Follow the path you believe is right. That is my idea of propagate propagation and a personal motto of mine interesting when i'm talking with kenji it really feels like my heart is being purified and relaxed i can see how he was able to become the ultimate priest i wonder if i put his face through like a yasify app like what would come up could i actually do that i think i've seen like yasify accounts on twitter i kind of want to do that with kenji now <laughs> I'll post it on Twitter if I could figure it out. But still, it's amazing, Kenji. I believe presenting them the path is the way of expressing your faith. Is it? There is a saying my father once told me. Your words can change the world. Since the day I heard it, I have always pursued that ideal. One day I hope to change the world with my words. I wonder if he's really the same age as me. Even though Kenji's eyes met mine, I could see how he was looking beyond to the ideal he hasn't reached yet. So much time has passed, my story. It held little value as entertainment. I hope the tedium was not too bothersome. Not at all, I already feel like a new person just by talking with you. Um, if you don't mind, can we talk more about religion next time? If you are okay with conversations like this, I will gladly do so. He's, he seems nice so far. He's not like, burn, burn, throwing holy water at me and stuff, you know? So we'll see. Oh, thank you, Kratix Tiara. I wake up in Melbourne and see, oh wait. And see a priest being given adult material. <laughs> what a way to start the day. Love your work. <laughs> and he liked it too. <laughs> uh, thank you for the donation. And oh man, that was so funny. <laughs> and thanks guys. I appreciate uh, all the support you guys have given me during the stream. If you're okay with conversations like this, I'll gladly do so. For now, though, farewell. He seems nice so far. Kenji, he truly is amazing. Maybe I judged him too soon. His dream might not be impossible. But we'll see. <laughs> Until he murders somebody later. If we manage to get out of this place someday, he might. He might really change the world with his words. I parted with Kenji after a quick goodbye. I have no idea if I see Kenji living or dying, to be totally honest. It's getting late. I should go back to my room. <laughs> Kenji splash your holy water on Monokuma quick. <laughs> ah, school announcement! It's now 10 p.m. Nighttime is here, and the diner will be off limits. Sleep tight and already night. Another day passed, and our search was, so far has been fruitless. Damn it! I told everyone not to fret, but when will we actually get out? No, getting nervous won't get me anywhere. I should be positive and believe in myself. That's one step closer to escaping this school. Let's sleep for today. I don't have much to do here anyways. And the others will be sleeping too. Or will they? We will see. Yeah, I might have judged KG a little too soon. He seems okay so far. I don't mind you, bro. I think uh, I'll see over two. What if he kills gay Teletubby? <laughs> I was kind of thinking that. He's, he's like... <laughs> Yeah, well, Teria? Is that a Teria? Yeah, I think it's something like that. If he sees him with like the rainbow flag, he's like, LGBT. <laughs> it's like, if he was like one of those priests, I'd be like, no! <laughs> Don't kill him! That's a hate crime! Okay. <laughs> uh, hey, Brooke, thanks for coming to the stream. Laying on the bed, I fell, I fell into a pensive mood. I kept wondering, what is Homespeak Academy? What about Monokuma's true identity? 
I was ignorant. Everyone seemed like a mystery. I would be so sad if Tarion dies. I really want to see, um, I really want to see, like, his, uh, free time events. He's so cute. Yet I was curious. I wanted to know the truth. My thoughts faded as my consciousness sank into the darkness once again. What if we have, when are we going to have another despair dream? Hello everyone, it's now 7 a.m. Morning, rise and shine, Earth sign. Let us have another lively day. Let us give more porno mags to our friends. It's been three days now. The situation hasn't improved, but I still need to keep investigating. Ah, okay, it seems like free time events are probably over. This was like two days. Huh, is someone at the door? I wonder who it is. I'm coming. Probably a Kane, right? Hey, boyfriend. <laughs> oh, no. No. Oh. Sarugi, what's the matter? It's pretty early in the morning. Good morning, Yuki. Sorry for the disturbance, but can you come to the diner right now? I'm scared now. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, but why? Did you find something? Well, not necessarily. I'd say it's more of a regular meeting. Okay, good. <laughs> I was like, yeah, there's a dead body in there. Can you come quick? Anyways, please come. I'll go call the others. Oh, no. Oh, no. Huh, regular meeting. Well, I guess the others could be feeling anxious when three days had passed. Let's go to the diner, like Tsurugi said. Morning. Okay. I was like, at first I wasn't sure if I should, like, call it quits or not. I kind of want to still play this. <laughs> I don't know, like, I'm just trying to think of what's best for, like, the episodes, you know? Like, lengthwise. We still haven't gotten a motive and it's been two hours. I know that's what I was thinking too. I was like, maybe I'll just wait till a motive. I kind of want to keep playing. <laughs> hey, what's up, pilot bro? Morning, Yuki. Did you get some rest? Yeah, kind of. Are you up because Sarugu. Suru... <laughs> Why can't I say his name? Sarugi called you? Uh huh. He told me to come to the diner. I'm not exactly an early riser. I'd better shake off this drowsiness before I go. Okay, don't be late though. Like me, always late. Anybody else up here? Friends, where are you? No friends. Okay, I guess we can go to the diner. Oh, hey. About to have a riveting conversation. Makako, what are you doing? Didn't Sir... <laughs> Sarugi call you too. It's like my mind just goes blank when I see his name. Ah, uh, no. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> what was that? So me kind of feels like she's gonna be the best girl. This is the diner. Those who did not yet come soon arrived after I came in, and everyone gathered in the diner. Oh, Sarugi sounds awfully similar to Samugi. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. That's everyone, I suppose. Hey, why'd you call us up? Call us so early. I need some more sleep. Is everybody here? I was kind of curious about that. Oh, gotcha. You finally found some clues. Really? Are you sure we're getting out of here? No, not yet. I still can't get a grip of the situation. Much less, much less clues to escape. What are you talking about? It's been three days and we still have to be stuck here? That's why I called you. Like Mitsuhiro said, three days have passed. So we might want to halt the investigations and present what we've got. <laughs> I got trauma dumped on. I can I can present that. Nobody has a dad. Everybody has daddy issues here. Even if you say so, there wasn't anything really significant. Clues are also important, but I really want us to get a clear view of the situation, especially since we've settled down from the initial chaos. So have any of you found something strange or suspicious during your investigation? Huh? Everything looks strange to me. Certainly, the situation grew even more puzzling than the first day. In particular, the absence of students and staff was my primary concern. Agreed. Hope Speak Academy is a public place. It doesn't make sense for us to be the only ones here. Maybe Monokuma was lying? He might be trying to make us believe things he wants us to. No, this building is... This building likely is Hope Speak Academy. Did you forget already? Think about the brochure Makaru found. True, the map there perfectly matched this building. I didn't see you at all, Kakaru, when I was, uh, Kakaru. Got us all like Kakarot for a second. <laughs> Kakarot. I didn't uh, see him at all when I was, uh, roaming around the halls. I want to hang out with him. He's so cute. 
wait a sec, how do you know that brochure is the real thing? No one, no one here has been inside the actual place. Can Monokuma have made a fake map? I see, I have a point there. No, the brochure wasn't forged. I can guarantee that to you. Why? I'm a police officer or something. I've seen that brochure before all this happened. Now, do you remember the entrance hall where we first met? I was the first one to arrive. There I spotted a booklet on the shelf. Thinking back now, that was the exact same brochure as the one we have now. Ah, so it is legit. Oh, thank you, Elena Heibel. Hey, I just wanted to say thank you for your amazing videos and content. They make my days a lot brighter. Oh, thank you. That's so sweet. I appreciate it. <laughs> Thanks for the donation and come to the stream. Then no other person is here, not because of your location, but of an unknown cause we are yet to identify? Unknown cause? What kind of cause would make everyone else from the whole school just disappear? Or maybe Monokuma wiped them out? <laughs> wiped out real people? But we all saw them, the guns on the camera. If you have those things all over the school, killing off people in the building would be... That'd be kind of fucked up, find all the bodies, like, hid somewhere, you know? <laughs> That'd be crazy. <laughs> Hey, just stop it. Are you trying to scare us even more? Idiots, since when did modern school buildings have guns attached to their cameras? There wasn't a single... <laughs> Are we in America? <laughs> guns everywhere. There wasn't a single gun nor a camera when we first arrived. If Monokuma did something, then it should have been after the group blackout. Okay, so we arrived, blacked out, then... I gunned up the school, baby! So the entirety of the students vanished by some cause. During the short period of time, we were unconscious. That's a real mystery. I couldn't have been more... It couldn't have been more than an hour or so. I can't tell if my, like, gangster voice for him really works or not. We're just gonna keep going with it. In addition to that, don't you think something has changed? The school didn't feel this creepy when I passed through the entrance. Damn, what the hell is wrong with this place? It's driving me nuts! Who is Monokuma in the first place? Assuming we have the right idea about his plan, it doesn't look like what an ordinary person would do. Uh, carrying out a plan this big would be hard even for the craziest criminals. I think this matter is just getting more and more complicated. But do we have a choice? There's no way to find out Monokuma's identity or whatever happened to us back then. Investigation's the only option. Uh, um, would y'all mind if I had a little, <laughs> if I had a little optimism, like the possibility of a rescue team coming for us? <laughs> right. Our families have been out of touch with us for days now. Wouldn't someone report us missing and start searching for us? I feel like... I hope so. I hope Teria survives a long time. I can see Kyoka surviving a while, too. They both kind of seem like... I don't know, there's like a lot more room for development, you know what I mean? Someone like whom? Like whom? There's our parents, the school, the police... <laughs> Probably. I'm here! <laughs> Why is this little sprite so cute? Oh, Monokuma! Too bad! No outside force can ever tamper with Hope Speak Academy security measures! It seems like I haven't repeated this enough! Jesus, give up hope already! Abandon your false hope and flow with the rules! What's your business? Just one thing! I have been listening to your conversation through the camera and you're all frustrating me! Be quiet! We'll make it out of here no matter what you say to us! Out? Out to where? The outside? You don't want to go out there! <laughs> Why are you trying so hard to get out when you already know the way? I have kindly told you about the graduation clause! Is it already gone from your memory? Should I reinstate it to you? The graduation clause said... Kill! Kill a person and gain your freedom! Oh wait, we're probably arguing the motive now. Yay! <laughs> yeah, look at that Terrius sprite too. <laughs> oh, thanks Effie for coming uh, by. Alright, we've got to work tomorrow, so I gotta sleep now. Amazing game so far. Thanks for coming by and appreciate the donations and uh, stuff too. Hope we can play the Your Turn to Die Simulator again later as well. <laughs> <laughs> yes, if I am before it's too late, Kenji. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's how we have to do it. Kenji does not have holy water. He has Yassify water. He just throws it on Monokuma. All of a sudden, he gets like the nails and the lips. It's like, oh, <laughs> now you have to Yassify someone for your freedom. <laughs> oh, slay. Or maybe he'll just change to slay. No, not kill. Slay. <laughs> kill a person and gain your freedom. What's preventing you from choosing the easy way? <laughs> Do you ever think we'll choose to commit crime? 
Sarugi's right. We won't listen to you. Get out of here. Get out of here, Monokuma. Anyways, Monokuma, who are you? Who is controlling you from behind? Monokuma is Monokuma. The most Monokuma-like Monokuma ever. You son of a bitch. Quit blabbering and answer the question. Initially, my expectation was that a murder would occur after the very first day. But what I got instead was three days in a row without murder. You were all yassifying each other and hanging out. God dang it. My dream of an interesting turn of events was shattered into pieces. A shattered hope. <laughs> oh, I get the reference. I thought I had everything for a murder to occur. So I wondered why did nothing happen? Then while reading a comic about a young detective, a thought came in a flash. There was a final ingredient for murder that I haven't added. It was the motive. No one was killing because you weren't motivated. Okay, let's see. Therefore, I will give you the ultimate motive. Yes, an irresistible cause. That will compel you to become a murderer. Motive? What strategy stuff are you going to do to us? Or strange stuff, such as said. Do you remember the audio visual room? Oh, is it actually going to be the, the same one from Dragon Rumpa 1? Do you remember the audio visuals room in the school building? I put an important DVD there. Please go and check the contents. Wow, that's so fishy. Let me ask you one thing. What's your motive? What do you want to... What do you want to get out of us? <laughs> Some entertainment, Jesus! Despair. That is all I need! <laughs> Remember the rules? You're free to investigate the school at your discretion. But will there be any clues? Who knows? <laughs> watching you all struggle... Watching you all struggling to reach the truth is a good source of entertainment for me. Regardless, just do your best. Bye-bye! Uh, his little sprite looks so tubby. I just want to just want to poke his little belly. Uh, it just disappeared again. We're free to investigate the school. To say that with such confidence, I see. <laughs> We're boned, huh? What about the div What was the DVD about? I wonder who she would be closest to if it is going to be like uh, seeing you know who you're closest to die or whatever. But we'll see. Because, yeah, she's like an orphan. Everybody seems to have parent issues. He said it was a motive? We don't know if Yuki has parents, right? I guess we'll find out. I'll go check it. I'm the closest to the- I'll go check it. I'm the closest to the door. Are you sure? Isn't that Monokuma's trick? I don't know, but somebody should go check it out. Be careful. We'll follow you as soon as we get to know what that DVD is. <laughs> Just gonna send me by myself, <laughs> bro. Okay, I'll be right back. Shouldn't we send the lawyer guy? <laughs> Monokuma's motive. What could that be? I felt a drop of curiosity spreading in my mind. And at the time, strangely, my heart was shaking in an unknown sense of fear. Anyways, let's head straight down to the audiovisuals room. I still don't really know my way very well. Isn't this like where the main building is? I think, I think, or wait, is it here? No, that's the bathhouse, right? Okay. I think, I think it, is it this way? Is this way, right? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I guess we'll say. You could have parents said so himself. Okay. I could remember. And that's the court. Um... That's the antique room. I think this was the audiovisual, probably. No, god dang it. Where's the audiovisual? Crap, is it somewhere else? This is the gym, right? Was it the other place? God dang it. <laughs> god freaking dang it. I think it was. Oh, it's not that one, right? It's the classroom. Okay. Oh, what? It isn't here? Okay. <laughs> Which was the audiovisual room? Oh my god. Is it this way? What's the courtroom? Am I stupid? Oh, here it is. <laughs> this is the audio visuals room. Yes. I'm just answering my own question. Monokuma said there would be a DVD. That box wasn't here before. Is this the one he was talking about? What should I do? Of course, telling the others right away. But this strange box looks too fishy to just leave here. I'm gonna have a party and get some popcorn and watch all y'all's movies. <laughs> yassify the bottom. <laughs> We're just gonna yassify this whole game. <laughs> That's gonna be the theme of this game. <laughs> or the theme of this Let's Play. <laughs> the oddly suspicious box soon made me wonder what its contents would be. I'm sure the others wouldn't mind if I take a little peek at it. <laughs> Inside the box were 15 DVDs stacked on top of each other with each of our names written on it. What is Monokuma trying to show us? This one has my name on. Let's just take a quick look. 
He's too much of a good boy to, uh, <laughs> to watch the others. While after I put the DVD into the video player, the monitor screen started to brighten. Do, do, do. Let's see. I wonder if it's going to be really similar to Makoto's or not. Does look like a house. Huh? I felt like my heart stopped for a moment. When the monitor flashed and started to play the video, I was immediately able to recognize the place on the screen. It's my house? If it wasn't for the situation, I might have felt happy at the familiar sight, or perhaps been soaked in a pool of nostalgia. But the noises that follow cleared those thoughts from my head. Fucking boom! Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm beating up your little sister! What's all the sound? What's happening? Oh, this mom. There it is. Who are you? Mom! Uh, honey, what are you? Oh no. Oh fuck. Oh Jesus! Oh man, that seemed a lot more uh... <laughs> you wanna know what happened? Oh, this can't be good. It seems like something has occurred to the well-being of Yuki Maida's warm and caring family. What could have, have possibly happened at his house? Look for the answer after graduation. Ah! Man, I was like, that seems more ominous than, well, I feel like, I was like, is it more ominous than the one that Makoto got? Because I just showed Makoto's family that it like, Flashed and then it like uh, showed the couch was empty and the house was destroyed. That it seemed like she was really getting like the shit kicked out of her or something like you know, <laughs> in the middle of the tape. So that was kind of a uh, that was kind of surprising. I thought it was gonna be more like vague, honestly. What was that? What the hell was that video? Uh, Yuki, is something wrong? Are you okay, Yuki? You didn't come back, so we decided to check on here. The others are on their way too. I heard Suguri. Surugi and Akane say something, but that was not my focus at the moment. I want to... I, I have to get out of here! Oh god, I have to get out and go back to my family! Calm down, Yuki. Tell me what happened. Oh man, he's the one who's pulling him eyes now. Hey, what's all the screaming about? I could hear it from the other end of the hallway. Ugh. Let's see how everybody reacts. I really hope, um... I really hope Akane is not gonna be like a Maizano, like red herring. I was finally able to return to my senses minutes after Surugi held me still. I saw that everyone was inside the room, giving me a strange look. Already having used all my strength, I silently pointed to the box I found. The others seemed to have understood my message as they took their DVDs out and started watching it. And soon, loud screams of panic and fear filled the entire room. This can't be true! This can't be! Someone tell me it's fake! This must be a lie! This is totally impossible! Um, so is this a surprise party? <laughs> Read the room. <laughs> you're not, do you watch your tape and you're still just like, oh, what's going on here? <laughs> Let me out. I can't stand this place anymore. I've got to get out of here. I'm sure they've seen videos similar to mine. The response was exactly as I expected. Damn, Monokuma, I didn't see this coming. So this is the motive I see. What should we do? What should we do? How do we... Darn it! I need to get out, but how? There is a way out. Uh, 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 oh no. <laughs> so she's the one who's gonna start getting the, uh... <laughs> getting the, uh... The killer, uh... I don't know, like the killer streak, you know what I mean? What way? What way? Is there anything other than murder? Oh. <laughs> oh, I get it now. That's fucking right. It wasn't a matter of seconds. Murder is the only way out. That short reminder was sufficient to bring back the atmosphere of distrust that prevailed on the first day. We didn't know where we are. We don't. We didn't know where we are, nor how things are going in the outside world. But those weren't enough to make us feel the actual weight of the situation. Being given a small motive for escape, we were now slowly beginning to accept it as real. These people might kill someone to get out. No way, we're friends. We were friends for quite a while now. That kind of optimism was not acceptable anymore. None of us should be fully trusted. I was no exception. Everyone calm down. Wouldn't, the, wouldn't this be exactly what Monokuma wants us to do? Monokuma wants us to kill each other. We'll only do him good if we can't keep our trust. Are you sure that we should keep the stupid trust? Of course you would be like wanting to kill. 
Fuck off. So, so what did we find for these three days without killing? Absolutely nothing. Who knows? Maybe we'll get to find someone dead now. Oh, God. No way that can't happen in here. Quit playing angels. Didn't I tell you? No one want to be so... No one would want to socialize in the middle of a bunch of to-be murderers. We're pushed to our limits. I wouldn't be surprised if some savage bloodbath was occurring right now. Us to be murderers? That's, that's impossible. Right, let us think over the matter. The video was prepared by Monokuma, the mastermind. Would it be okay to believe it just as it was presented? Right, it's likely that he tampered with it. The video looked simply too absurd to be real. And even if it was, the police wouldn't be doing nothing like apparently how they are now. So that M bastard just made a fake video to make it us kill? Son of a bitch! Sarugi, what's your opinion on this? Manipulation of the video. It's surely a possibility, but... Of course, that's the only possible explanation, right? So let's all relax and... Be a part of your plan to stab us in the back? Stop! Stop it! No more fighting! She seems like she's doing pretty good. She's not... Mizuno is fucking like... She freaked out like left the room and like... Started flirting with Makoto and all that. So she's doing pretty good so far. Uh, I'm hoping... I'm hoping Akane is not gonna be a... A, a red herring and die soon. Following Akane's desperate cries, the room fell into silence. Despite how much we've told ourselves to trust each other, a feeling of distrust has always rooted deep inside of us. Thinking back, we've known each other for only three days. What if you got a strong motive to get out? And what if your family was related to that cause, like in my case? Uh... <laughs> we all seem exhausted. Let's return to our rooms and rest for a while. Everyone, don't even think of doing it. Show Monokuma that he can't mess with us. Hump. <laughs> I'm gonna go kill right now. Sure, would anyone here really think of murder? <laughs> she seems cute. I like the blonde girl too. The sniper. With Sarugi, with Sarugi, normally our mediator, still in shock, all we could do was dis was dis distancing ourselves from each other. Surrounded by the dark atmosphere, full of doubt and suspicion, we headed to our rooms. Bro, I would just hide. I would lock myself up in my room. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> Afternoon! Okay, it might be good to call it uh, quits for now. We could probably get to the first victim uh, tomorrow pretty easily. I wonder how long the trials are for this game, too. It's like... If we play as long as we did this time, we might be able to do both. I guess I just don't really know exactly how long uh, everything is. It took us like three hours to get to the motive, so I don't know. Maybe we will just do the investigation and the first victim next time. But yeah, I'm getting a little uh, <laughs> a little uh, tired and hungry, so might be good to stop. Plus, my voice is kind of kind of kill me a little bit. How are you guys liking it so far? I like it a lot. It's been a lot of fun. Oh. <laughs> Must press. I wouldn't have played it if I had known what was going to happen. We're almost on the first, uh, caster. Yeah. Okay, sounds good. Yeah, let's go ahead and end it now. Seems like a pretty good stopping point. We got the motive. Somebody's about to fucking die. <laughs> probably, uh, probably do it. Um, so the next time will be, uh, next week, same time. I think 2 p.m. has been pretty, uh, pretty good so far. So, um, we'll keep that up. You guys can let me know if there's any, um whatchamacallit, any requests on like times and stuff like that too. But uh, yeah, it's been super fun uh, so far. I've really uh, enjoyed it. <laughs> Looking a lot, having a lot of fun, also nervous. Same here, I'm so nervous. I don't really know who's gonna die yet. Like, or I don't really have like a feeling, like a good prediction, cause like the cop kind of gives me death flag vibes just cause he's so like leaderish. But uh, Akane also gives me death flag vibes cause they're like, hang out with Akane. <laughs> like, do it now I can. <laughs> like. I don't know, that's kind of what it made me think, think of. I think Kenji will be okay. <laughs> we'll see. We love Yassified Kenji. <laughs> I like how we turned him into such a meme, even though he's such a serious character. <laughs> we love Yassified Kenji. I'm hoping, I'm hoping our man makes it to the final. <laughs> but uh, yeah, anyways, thanks guys for coming. And uh, I really appreciate all the support on my last video too. I was really uh, excited because I had so much fun filming that video. So I plan on doing like, probably recording the Rampa 2 version tomorrow, spinning the wheel again. So I'm excited about that. And that should hopefully be up by like Friday. And then we can do this on Sunday. I'm trying to hopefully get into like a schedule. I would like to ideally post one video a week and then one stream a week, but we will see. <laughs> so yep, yeah, uh, I will see you guys next time. And thanks for coming to the stream. Bye. Hope you guys have a good week.